Bonsoir. Good morning. Good afternoon. Good evening. Hello, everyone, and welcome to uh, part two of Jailhouse Rocky. How's everyone doing? Hi, Sammy. Hi, AJ. Hi, Hunter. Hi, Jacob. Hi, Georgia. Hi, Frankie. And hello, anyone else that's in chat, lurking, or vibing, or watching the vod right now. Thank you for giving us your time, your beans. Um, let me just do that. Thank you, Hunter, for uh, putting the links in uh, in chat for the the Discord and uh my art and stuff i hello appreciate that i'm very sweet of you uh also there's something else i wanted to check that is not um yeah he's always he's always, he's always in here doing 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 a star's work you're you're, you're a bean hunter i appreciate that um yeah hello everyone how are you guys how how is your sunday How's your week been? How have all the things been? I hope you've been doing well. I'm uh, I'm doing I'm doing good. I'm very excited. I don't know if you can tell. Uh, hello. <laughs> um, where are we? What's it? Has anyone said anything? Blah, blah, blah. Ah, the uh, the low dancing is amazing. It is. I'm very I'm very proud of that. And like it's, it makes me laugh every time I see it. And don't worry about it, Hunter. You, I'll I'll go over a quick recap of last session. Uh, and um. And yeah, I hope you when you do get a chance to rewatch the vod, I hope you uh, you enjoy it. Where are we? I'll do this. Yeah, I'm glad you're doing alright, Hunter. That's good. I'm glad. Um, but yeah, welcome to uh, to session two or part two of uh, this three-part little mini adventure that are uh, focusing on uh, Rockies and four other inmates, Taya, Moran, Randall, and Kano, as they, or uh, the cannon, as they um, try to make their escape from Kasakao Prison Factory. Um, before I go into a quick recap, I'm going to go just uh, talk about our sponsors for a hot second. Uh, first sponsor is Bard RPG. They are um, that project I was working on that I was doing art for. Um, they are creating a system agnostic. I want to hope that's you. Let me just check my my stats and say everything's fine. So I think, yeah, I was going to say, I think that that is your internet is being just a bit choppy. Oh, thank God. <laughs> Hello, Swagmaster. I was I was a bit worried for a half second. Um, yeah, welcome to to, uh, to the session. Uh, Bar RPG. They are um, they have just finished their Kickstarter, which is uh, to kickstart a uh, project to create a RPG. Com Thank you so much, Swagmaster, for the prime sub. You're 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 a bean. I, I I really appreciate that. Thank you. You're you're a star. But yeah, um, the the project is a um, genre and system agnostic um, tool to help uh, create a more collaborative, unique, and interesting story when you're uh, you, you're you're playing a tabletop game. And like this is something that's both for players and uh, the uh, the game uh, the game master as well. And uh, it's it's got some really cool tools that are although it's catered towards uh, the genres of western sci-fi and fantasy it is still very much applicable to other types of genres so if you want to check that out go go find out more information at um the kickstarter uh, and you can you can find that by using the, the command bard rpg exclamation mark the next is dice roll if you've seen um any of the streams this week you might have seen me showing off my uh my new um cat, blue cat's eye uh electric blue cat uh cat's eye um uh gemstone dice because they are absolutely gorgeous and also my rainbow one which are also very nice i just uh, these ones are very pretty and i can't stop looking at them uh but uh, dice roll create very cheap uh gemstone metal and uh or sell gemstone metal and resin dice and they also have a few tabletop uh, uh accessories that are um yeah, they're, they're, if you're like, and like, yeah, if you if you're in in the UK, uh, you get free free shipping for uh, their stuff. And if you use the link, or uh, yeah, the link dietroll.uk slash kazdm, you'll get. Uh, oh my God, there's a hype train. Or oh, it's about to start. Thank you so much, hype for the the prime sub. 
That, that's very sweet of you. Thank you. It is a sponsor moment. Yeah, dice roll is pretty cool. Yeah, uh, if you use the link diceroll.uk slash kazdm, uh, you'll be helping to support the stream with your purchase and you'll get some really cool dice and you'll also be sending sending some help over over to us and that's beyond appreciated. But you guys just being here and giving your time is more than enough. I, I, uh, I really appreciate you guys being here. Next is D Phoenix Dice, which also creates some dice. They are, I believe they're UK based. Oh, not UK, US based. So that's... Uh, US side, <laughs> so if you want um, some uh, some cheaper or free shipping, you and you you in the US, you can using Phoenix Dice. They um, you can use the code TAS2022 to get 20% off of your purchase to get some cool dice or accessory uh, to tabletop accessories. Their dice are actually really neat. They've got like you know those ones with like things inside them. Phoenix Dice do a lot of those ones. Oh gosh, thank you June for the uh, the raid of two people. Thank you so much. That was very that was very appreciated. Hello Warmish textbook. Thank you. Thank you so much for stopping by. No, no, it's okay. A little night. Yeah, it's a little night raid. Thank you for stopping by. And you're, you you arrived just at the right time. I'm um, just quickly going over the sponsors, and we're gonna do a recap of last session, and then go into to all the things. Thanks for stopping by. Yes, I hope you're enjoying your your new emotes, uh, Sagmaster. That is a good, and that's actually our newest addition. Um, yeah. Uh, Task 2022 uh, at uh, Phoenix Dice uh, on your purchase, and you get 20% off. Um, and you can also go to Games by B uh, if you use this command. Um, to um, if you're looking for specifically for tabletop accessories that are handmade, and also um, just just all the things you need or would want for uh, to bring to a personal game, uh, a home game of D&D, such as dice trays, bags, patches, and pencil cases. Well, maybe not the patches, but like you can have the patches on your clothes, and they're pretty neat. Uh, I believe like they, they they have a series of LGBT dice patches and they are very cute. Uh, and yeah, and if you want to grab any of those and use the, ca the code TAS2022, you get 10% off your purchase. Um, next is Just Very Mundane, one of the only podcasts on the planet right now. It has our very own Jacob and his co-host Sagar uh, are doing some um, doing doing just something that's very mundane. Go listen to them. Jacob's hilarious, and I can only imagine the podcast is just as funny. Everything else is made has been essentially comedic gold. Why wouldn't this be any different? Next is we're so fucking sorry. I I'm sorry, Sammy. I don't I don't know uh, I don't know what key uh, I need for 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 the theme song. I'll I'll get I'll get better at it next time. But yeah, go check out the other podcast on the planet. We're so fucking sorry. Where Sammy, uh, who is uh, joining us, who's playing Taya, and her co-host and friend Lucy, are just being wild. In a very small, contained hour, where they just chat about the the topic they want to go over, and then just go on as many tangents as they want because they can. It's hilarious. It's wild. I'm on there for one uh, part where we we're meant to be talking about. Oh, but I think we start talking about Yu-Gi-Oh and I think watermelons. I can't remember. I have to listen to it again. But it's it's hilarious. You should go check them out. They are very fun, and it's a great way to spend your 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 evening or your morning or your afternoon if you're. Just needing something to listen to. Well, you can listen to both. Just very mundane and we're so fucking sorry. Do both. Listen to both at once. It's it'll be like they're having one big conversation, or you're in a room full of two friend groups that are talking at once, but you're on the same table. So, you know. And you're just happy to be there. Yeah. Uh, and finally, there is Georgia Marjorie. Georgia, Georgia. She is uh, our very own low Nico, and she creates uh, some stunning silver jewelry. And you can go find out, uh, find them on her Etsy store where she creates pendants, rings, earrings, and necklaces. And you can see her recent collection, the Silver Dragon's Hoard, which is a beautiful collection of, um, um, what's the word? Beautiful collection of jewelry based around um, the D&D classes of Fighter, Rogue, and Dungeon Master. And you should, you should go check them out. She does some gorgeous work. And yeah. She deserves all the support, and everyone else that I have shouted out deserve all the support. And also, our cast, who we will go over when we're about to start, Willa, and when they introduce themselves, you should go support them too, because they do some amazing stuff. But yeah, that's all our sponsors out of the way. Let's uh, let's do a quick recap. A very quick recap. Um, because <laughs> I didn't write one out. But with Tass, I normally have a recap on hand. Thank you. I don't know if you're if you're lurking there, Sam, but like he just sent me a message to breathe. I think he is lurking. He is, and I can't see him. But yeah, I will breathe. Let me just. Mm -hmm. 
I was looking for there you are yeah so last session uh, we had introduced he's somewhere in here yeah he's somewhere here yeah I know he's here he'll be, if he's not here he'll be here in a bit I'm ready to I can I'll be able to like just imagine his, there he is <laughs> where are we um yeah so last session we met Taya Moran Rocky Randall and Kano and they had a little uh Randall's been basically gra getting together a, I don't know if you'd want to call it a super group of inmates, but uh, he, he, he got a group going. And uh, Rocky and Randall were the two last remaining members to uh, to be pulled in. And um, they they have 30% of a plan. Just 30%. Um, but like they they spent a bit of last session trying to, trying to gather some more information, make their way to more, to 100% of a plan. Uh, with many many pitfalls many many strange occurrences such as the uh the weird eggs that are glitching into existence in the storage room in the common room or the uh the tiefling that lives in a secret book fort behind a bookshelf in the library or maybe even uh, just the feral genasi who who gave his life to let the uh the party escape uh during a very I'd say unnecessary incident in the tubes. Uh, the, secu the security tubes between each section of the prison. And Kano went through the wrong door. And so he killed two guards to, to not have it be a problem. But it's led to a worse problem. And now like they're on watch. Uh, they finished last session um, going back into the bookcase pillow for um, Cranny. And uh, were able to pull... Uh, the, the the bookshelves are shut but by doing so um or when doing so they had did create a cacophony as one of the bookshelves broke because it fell and and a guard may or may not have seen them we don't know well uh we'll find out when we start but yeah well i'm just gonna have a quick little chat with the group i'm gonna we're gonna play the theme song and the intro video in a second and uh, then we're gonna get straight into things see you guys in a second
Bonsoir. Hello, everyone. Um, welcome to part two of Jealous Rocky. It is starting. Hi, hi, Demi. If you guys could say hello for me, just make sure they can hear you. Because I'm hello, hello. hello everyone hello for me. I refused. <laughs> no one else is here. It was just Kaz. Yeah, no, that's what it felt like for a second. Oh, Kaz is a lone boy. Oh no, you guys can see secrets. Uh, <laughs> not I'm not looking. Well, I'm not looking. Yeah, whoa, no, whoa, good. Okay, I'm not. No, no, What's no. <laughs> what secrets were you? <laughs> Those secrets, secrets on screen. Secrets, secrets are no fun unless you share with everyone. These secrets can't be you shared. Know. Hi, Demi. You think that's adorable? Watch the face yeah. change from uwu blush to uh, Kano happy. <laughs> Look at that guy. I can't do. I can't do Kano happy. I, I tried. I can do Rocky happy, but that's not as good. Yeah. Yeah, you're you're all beans. So sweet. Oh, look, I can do this. No, 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 that's gonna. Be... <laughs> <laughs> It'll break it. Oh, will I? Oh, well, actually. Yeah, no, it doesn't oh, break yeah. it. But, like, like you can like the green screen doesn't like translate. There's a text box behind it. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, no. <laughs> there we go. <laughs> I said that to the aesthetic. When you Michael, there's like facts about rocks behind it, as it looks like. <laughs> 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 oh, rock facts. Uh -huh. They're the best. What was I gonna do? Great. Also, just... Oh, um, you're gonna instrument, I think. Oh, give, gonna... give me a fact about rock, Rocky. They're uh, so. Uh huh. <laughs> 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 That's it. Um, Did you know granite? Uh, actually, um, is it's under. It's sometimes it's in that dirt. All right. Wow. No. Rock packs to, to get us through this. There are three different types of rocks. You saw, it's the they the don't say. Oh, in, in, in genus, sedimentary, and metamorphic. Is it? Isn't it igneous? Igneous. Igneous. It is. It is in ingenious. <laughs> in ingenious. You're ingenious. <laughs> igneous. No, I, I said igneous of, from the beginning. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> Alright. Uh, Demi Chan, watch what you say next. I'm gonna ban you. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, where are we? Um, so yeah, let's let's introduce everyone first. Uh, Rocky. Mm. Oh, sorry, Jacob. Hey, okay. Hey, I'm uh, I'm Jacob uh, of the uh, just very mundane oh. fame. Okay. Sorry, I'm that? stuck in the wall. <laughs> oh no! Sorry. Oh. <laughs> don't, steal, don't don't ever steal my spotlight again, AJ. Like, <laughs> I, I <will. laughs> like seriously, we'll, we'll talk after the stream. Uh, <laughs> I'm not gonna be here. <laughs> what? Uh, anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, of just very mundane fame, I guess. Uh, I play Rocky, aka uh, 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 Rocky is his legal name. Uh, Earth Genazi fighter dude. I love Rocky dude. Benjamin Oktoberfest. Uh, uh, that's, please don't dox them. That's really kind of rude. Um, Sorry. <laughs> uh, yeah, I, uh, this is, uh, this was a birthday gift to me from Kaz. That's just a lie. I don't know why I said that. I got nervous. <laughs> um, <laughs> I think is I said everything. Is that our goal like, this stream to lie as much as possible? Oh, well, that's I mean, what D&D is. It's yeah, just that's lying what pretty much. About. Uh, yeah, that's I mean, what yeah. prison's about, lying. <laughs> <laughs> but D&D is just lying, but making it believable. <laughs> Make believe is just lying. That's man. the message, literally, of Shawshank Redemption. That's you guys gotta watch that before we finish. Hey yo, spoilers! Uh, what are you spoilers? That's not, it's a, the theme. Oh, that's honestly like that's unbelievable, Sam. Like I spoiled. Damn, I can't believe like, we just fucking me. spoiled the goddamn movie. It when came did that out, movie like, come out? Two weeks ago. Right two weeks ago. Like next, you're gonna tell me it. some some bullshit that like. About like uh, Jurassic Park or some shit. Yeah, well, I mean, there's there's real, real dinosaurs. dinosaurs I bet. Well, yeah, <laughs> they were. The aren't real. <laughs> they were real dinosaurs, though. Yeah, that's what I'm saying. And he's gonna tell me some bullshit like they're not. Oh, sorry. anyway, that's everything about me. I don't think there's anything else. Oh, my social security number is. Uh... <laughs> Other than that, um, <laughs> thank you, Jacob. Sam, hey, tell us about you. Uh, shit. wait, which Sam? Uh, Sam. Uh. Cause I'm Sam of the Monkey Squadron. We do like D and D over there. Uh, we also talk about Marvel and Star Wars TV shows and movies, uh, and we we game there occasionally. So I'm blowing it, man. It's okay. Do you want AJ to do my clunky promo? Yeah, sub in, sub in, AJ, sub in. Right now? Yeah, quick. Yeah. You tagged in. Hi, it's me. 
Uh, it's AJ. I'm also with McClinky Squad. And I'm supposed to be the last one going, but now I'm going to be this one. Uh, we do other stuff. We do games. We do D and D. Uh, we're gonna be starting a couple stuff. We're almost at, we're one person away yes. from a hundred uh, followers, and once we get that, we're gonna do something big. We're probably gonna do like a twelve-hour stream. I'm gonna start playing Witcher uh, on stream, uh, uh, along with that, and just going through all of that because it's my favorite game. Once I got, uh, I got so doing it, and got lost shit. Yeah. Uh, in the coming years, we also have a lot of stuff you, with, uh, with uh, we, pay we also have a lot of stuff with uh, with uh, MCU that we're yes. gonna be talking about. So tune in for that. Mm -hmm. Thank you so much for, yeah. for the follow, Hidemi. Thank you. You're, you're, I'm about you're, to make oh. it. I'm about to make it 99. Y'all ain't gonna. Fuck you're already. <laughs> <laughs> Sammy, tell us about you. Hi, I'm Sammy. I stream sometimes, although I should be streaming more than often. I also do a great podcast with my co-host Lucy called. We're so fucking sorry. Please, uh, well, you know what? I was gonna say, please don't watch the most recent episode that we uploaded today. Uh, but oh. it is the like literally the most chaotic thing we've ever posted. So if that's your vibe, honestly, He's check out that up. episode. That's interesting that you're saying that. That's too, like almost too chaotic for you two because you two are insane sometimes. Okay, Lucy. Just... Yeah, no, had a lot of caffeine and she oh. drove the podcast and I was just along for the ride and you know what? It was great. That's how it is. <laughs> like yeah. Lucy is yeah, like you're you you control Lucy, but like even then. Like the way I it, the way I describe it, like you're like you you temper her chaos. Usually I can keep us on track a little bit. Sometimes I get off topic as well, but today it was just completely unhinged. We had a, a topic and then we just completely threw it out the window. But you know what? It's our podcast, so. It is, exactly. It's my podcast. I can be unhinged if I want to. Next and episode, we're just going to cry for like an hour straight. That'll be it. Is that the one I'm going to be on? Don't even, dude. Don't yeah. even. <laughs> start crying and I'll start crying. And Sam will start crying. This pizza? Then... This pizza won't split apart. <laughs> I want to. I wish I was like could see that happen. Um, <laughs> I know. Dude. I can imagine oh, it almost. You know, <laughs> my face no! is so like wet already from Encanto, and that like just topped it off. Gross. <laughs> my chair was broke. And then next is uh, what's the <laughs> word? Uh, Epi, tell us about you and your art and all the things. Hi everyone. Um, I'm Epixel or Epi, if you like. Um, I make art over on Instagram and Twitter, not so often Twitter, to be honest, uh, <laughs> but I love D&D and I'm uh, having a blast playing with these guys. Yeah. Um, but yeah, so that's everything. Uh, to those that don't know that on you, I'm Kaz the DM. Hello, I will be your DM for today. Um, and I'm going to throw us straight into the hot war. Uh, let me clear this and then get the music back on. Bang. And we are gonna go into the thing. Bang, 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 bang. So last session, we, as I mentioned, like we closed off with this guard saw you guys, or you think you saw him close the door, and in that like panicked moment for a second, like you see him blink and it's shut. You you get you you shut the you shut the the door and get into a low Erin's nook. Um, while that you do hear through the muffled wood or through the wood, um, the muffled voices of the guard being called away to go and apprehend the uh, the fire genasi that was uh, creating a bit of chaos earlier and to quarantine off the security tube. So I'm going to say you guys have in in the, in the little crawl space you have, you have a moment where you can. You, you, you have a few moments basically where you are able to do what you want if you like to try and escape. Within if the, that guy. Uh, that guy's been pulled away for a second. Yeah, uh, I'm. I'm gonna just gonna relay that information to everybody who didn't see pretty much. Uh, so turning back into the into the cave, like, <clears throat> I don't think this is gonna be a permanent solution for hiding in here, folks. Oh no, we should well, make a break uh, for it. Yeah. Uh, I mean, I feel like that's easier said than done. Um, as you guys are making... I, a I meant back to the kitchen. As you mm. guys are making a fair bit of noise, you see... Or you you hear someone crawling uh, from behind you, Kano. And you can, like, you feel the weave pulling as, like, you can see or feel the energy of uh, Low Erina crawling through the crawl space. I punch her in fear. <laughs> I'm kidding. 
she she just stops just in, uh, just when she sees you. Oh, it's it, it's it's you people. Ah, oh, don't oh. don't walk up on someone like that. Sorry. Is everything okay? Uh, hey guys, everyone. I, 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 yeah, I'm it's here. fine. It, it's not looking so good, Erina. <laughs> it's definitely it, not fine. We didn't even make a rocky. plan yet. It's already going all, all, all up in tits. Huh? You may want to grab as many books as you as you want, and maybe we can trade nooks. Why? As you as you asked, though, you can see her tail flick behind, and you can see it's carrying like seven different books, like all like, like you know, like you like oh, pull good. in like books on into your chest, and like you use physics to hold it, hold them up. Yeah. She's using her tail to like hold up her, uh, hold up like these seven books uh, on her back. That's impressive. Uh, well, a couple of guards saw us come in here, so I think this place might be compromised for you. You know, being half deeply, I also. Have Oh boy. I pull like I, I like show the back of my, my 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 like the lower half of my body. It's like a really small like one inch tail. <laughs> oh, <laughs> that's, that's nice. She just says, as you see, like uh, you can't see her eyes uh, behind her glasses, but like you just can see her eyebrows. Are, like not like like more wor like just worried out like more so the fact that I'm just like you being told that her nook is compromised. It's like, okay. <laughs> I've, I guess I've got the books I need. If if we need to go, I. If you need me, I I can grab you a couple more books for you if you really want. Please. Is this you actually just gonna go and see if she's got fifty uh, the other fifty scales of gray books? <laughs> well, that's two. That's a good point. <laughs> you can roll uh, investigation to search for that while you're grabbing just a bunch of books. If anyone else wants to help, like you can squeeze past Low Erin as she's crawling through. Yeah, I'll, I'll grab. Just, yeah, I'll, I'll take care I'll of her. I don't. I'm not gonna help. <laughs> <laughs> for obvious reasons <laughs> i'm gonna tell her well i'm so sorry as i go past it's, it's okay it's okay um you think you think my tail could like help out or something i mean I, I, as uh, a bookmark i like wiggle it <laughs> a little bit <laughs> <laughs> that's good i'm gonna note that down because that's hilarious um <laughs> Uh, I mean, may, uh, like, what's it, like? Do you have like? How, how good's your tail strength? I don't know. I like, I like move, like just wiggle it a little bit, and it doesn't do much. It just oh. you can just see it move underneath the skin, and that's about it. Like wiggles like a pig tail. Yeah, yeah. I mean, <laughs> uh, that's something. Maybe I don't, I don't, I don't think with picking up books. Maybe, maybe for holding a bag at least, maybe, but not, not, not books. As uh, you guys are scrounging in in the book room, and like Rocky's trying to help you, but you both keep picking up the same books as I'm like just tossing them to the side and like passing. Are you sure them. it's not this one? Are you <laughs> sure? Just, like I just genuinely think it might be this one. I'm just gonna say it right now. All right, you know what? Screw the book. Just pick, grab as many as you can and load them into your bags. Fifty scales of dragon. Like I feel like. <laughs> Why isn't that pertinent to grab? Well, I'm just going to say that right now. It, it would be great to find, but I can't seem to with this mess. Yeah, you can't seem to find it. But yeah, you, in the candlelight, you're, like, you're just like knocking over books and stuff. And I must say, like, as you're like, you two, Rocky and Randall, as you two are like passing this one book uh, to each other constantly, you knock the candle over. <gasps> uh, can I, I'm going <laughs> to leap on top of it and try to stuff it out. Roll dexterity for me. <laughs> you know, I could uh, I could lead you there to the other nook right now if you want. Uh... Um. Okay. I guess. Uh, all I right, mean, that, they grab cool. Should we wait for them? I mean, I'm sure they'll be be on their way. Our As he rolls, we pick the average. <laughs> As you hear, just a sound of Randall's body getting like just thudding on top of this candle, uh, just echoing or reverberating through the ch uh, the channels. You guys just see. Uh, candle, just I'm not candle. Sorry, Randall. <laughs> Red new <laughs> ship unlocked. <laughs> Kano and Kano Randall. Kano Kano Randall. Kano Randall. Randall candle. <laughs> Whoa, dude! Oh, that's uh, Kano that's and Randall. Kano a faded Randall love. Sitting in a tree. <laughs> K A N D L E. <laughs> oh, this is it's it's, it's, it's we're melting. Oh, I'm melting. <laughs> Yeah. Like a candle. And like toss, creating 
a just a mess of books that like just collapse and like get some of them get, do get crushed under your body weight and some of the pillows also like are singed as you as just about to catch fire but you you snuff it out as fast as you physically could without tripping over all the books um and you can just you can just hear kano suggesting to leave the nook with uh low Aaron, uh echoing through the through the tunnels as, as this is all being, as, as that's all happening so question now that the candle is extinguished is it completely dark, dark in here, here now yeah. so thank you. Guys, do you guys not you guys don't have dark vision do you guys it... <laughs> thank you for guys what... I, think I do i don't Taya has i met no, i met randall and rocky no right, you're like... the only one with dark vision in here oh guys you can I've hear seen... moran just like <sighs> Okay, let's go. <laughs> and she's gonna like reach out. She's got her blind sight, so it doesn't yeah. even matter that she can't see. She's gonna like hold Randall's arm and hold Taya's arm. She's gonna wrap the end of her tail around Rocky's arm and she's Ooh. gonna start dragging them out. <laughs> oh my god, we're kindergartners. Yeah, you got <laughs> <We're> <laughs> <the> line, <laughs> kindergartners. <laughs> I want to be the line leader the next time, please. I want to be the line leader. You have. A I never get to be the line leader. You'll wait your turn like everyone else. Where the Capri Sun? <laughs> you guys are able to pick up a, few, a handful of books, um, but like with uh, Moran grabbing your hands, you only use one hand to hold some of the books, and Moran has no hands to hold any of the books or tail even. But you guys are able to like make your way back to Low Erin and Kano, and like you see them crawling their way. Um, about to like peek out. Roll perception. All right, one second. Let me get my character ready. I want you guys to know that I hate every second of holding your guys' hands. <laughs> Rocky, your hands are surprisingly clammy. <laughs> They're soft. What can I say? Supple. What kind of moisturizer do you use? Huh? I rolled a five. <laughs> it's bit really soft rock hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> they just eroded away. That's why they're so soft. Um, <clears throat> yeah, with that, uh, with that five on your perception, you can you just see. Where's Taya at? <laughs> yeah, she with us. I'm right here. Yeah, you, hey, you, hey, you, hey, I'm because you can't see. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah. Um, you guys are able to. Interesting. Oh. Sorry, my. Uh... My PC is, is the fans going. This is the first time it's ever happened in a while on Roll Um, but yeah, uh, when you pe peek through, you're you can't you don't see any of the guards. Um, but you don't see much else. Like the door's been shut. It's um, and you just see like there's just a mess of books everywhere. And all right, push down the entire shelf. All right. Yes. All right, guys, we can go. <laughs> Oh, or, okay. Jeez. You hear the like most disappointed and saddened, just like whimper from Low Aaron as like all those books like just crack. The with the, with the amount of like shit and stuff that's happened, is it just like, a pile of broken wood and books here? Yeah, this room is just a mess. <laughs> like this one corner here is just books, stone, and and wood. Cause like the stone tables. <laughs> all right, guys, let's go. Right. Nice work. Yeah, you, I'm gonna pull you guys across as you uh, crawl your way out, and you just see like you see can see you can see like Laura and like shaking and whimpering, and like, you can see like just like little tears just drifting down all, the, all these books. What's wrong? You you, you, okay? you damaged all these books. I'm sure there's like other copies. I don't think they're gonna keep a single copy. That doesn't matter. Prison. These books were these ones like every book is special. You know the last person that did something like this. I like that's. I pick up a random book. What's so special about a hundred one things about the, the about the female anatomy? Was give me a second. <laughs> Many things, but also because that book is special <laughs> because it's a valuable source of information to someone that wants to pick it up, just like you. But I guess you're just like, you're just like Michael. Who? What? Oh, who's Michael? The Rock. My my Rock. <laughs> <laughs> Not your rock. He was—he was like a rock because he was stupid. But do not ever say that about Rocky or Rock. Oh, Michael again. Good lord. I'm uh, sorry, I didn't mean I did. Yeah, don't talk about Rocky that way. I, I didn't. Yeah, mean don't talk about, about Rocky that way. 
Oh, I'm sorry. Hey, Kaz, can I get out of book jail? Oh, no. yeah, sorry. <laughs> <laughs> I thought we were missing someone. I was like... <laughs> You can Before just... we leave this room, yeah. uh, Taya's gonna definitely grab the yeah, you can grab dagger the bag, that yeah. she hid. Yeah, you're able to grab back. You can, uh, if you if you see on your inventory, you can check that back on. You have your dagger, and you also have that uh, okay, those, cool. that broken uh, nuggetness of stuff um, for the blade. Oh my god! As right. like, guys, we gotta move. I think Moran, did you ask who Michael was? Well, yeah. yeah. Um, as like you guys are making your way out, uh, she's like still like just like exclaiming about all the books, but you'll hear like uh, when you ask, she just stops for a second. Oh. Um, Michael was, well, he's, he's the reason I'm here. Um, he, he might have just torn a few pages out of, out of, out of this one, this one, this one, one book I was reading, and it just, one thing led to another, and then, it's how I learned I have really good tail strength, at least. Wow. As she, uh. Okay. Guys, it's all well and good, but uh, grab yeah, as many books as you can. We gotta go. There's a lot of guards out here. <laughs> yeah, you guys are gonna have to rush, because when you open the door, is there lighting? I don't think. You can see the guards are, like, very focused in on the damage you've made over here, Kano. Um, And you can hear just the shrieking of the feral Janasi coming from oh there. Oh my god, I can see him. <laughs> 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 But yeah, you guys are able to make your oh way. Oh my god. You guys uh you guys want to roll stealth or anything to like try and uh sneak in or how you how you guys how you guys planning to get to to Randall's nook? Yeah, let's, let's stealth be it. quiet. Right. I'll yeah. try. Roll stealth. Low Aaron is also gonna I don't have that great of stealth bonus. Only plus six. Oh my god. I don't we don't have my <laughs> oh my cast no. uh, without <laughs> trace anymore, do we? Has it what? been an hour? Because uh, we had Pass Without yeah. Trace, but I cast. Has it been an hour since then? Mm. I don't know how long it, we were in that all, tunnel. It was over here. In that tunnel, you've been there like for like a, like maybe like at most you spent like ten minutes there, but like just this one moment was like about like a minute at most. I would say you still have your Pass Without Trace stuff. So you're right, so add ten to every yeah. stealth. Six. Yeah, and my my dice Yo, my roll for low error just now. Uh, yeah, I don't know. <laughs> yeah. Why was that so delayed? <laughs> I know. Uh, how do I, where's my stealth at? Sorry. G my stealth roll so high, I'm just gonna disappear from the freaking yeah. map. Yeah, Taya, <laughs> like, you don't even see Taya as, like, um, like, you just saw her going for her, her dagger and she's gone. Taya, you can, um. She's you, literally with the stone right now. You'd be able to, like, use 60 feet of movement to get where you, uh, where you want to go. Um, in that uh, I don't remember how, where it was. Wait. You were here? It's so, like, yeah. Um. But, like,. Yeah, you, 60 but, feet? Yeah, Dang. You, you okay. got 60 feet to like basically just dash out of it. And the rest of you guys are also able to uh, to dash. But as soon as like you are like making your way through the door, like there's only one way. And, like low Erin is kind of like panicked rushing as well. And you like bump into her and she just drops all her books, creating a bit of a noise. And Oh no. Oh no. And you see this guy turn around. Oh my god, they have 50 skills darker here. Don't do it. <laughs> One of the books she drops was 50 scaled stuff. <laughs> Which volume? <laughs> so yeah, I would say um, Moran, Randall, Rocky, and and UK not so You guys would all be able to like move 30 feet, except for like Taya's able to like use her uh, 60, uh, 60 feet to get uh, for ahead. But you guys um, will have 30 feet of movement and like. Oh hello. hello. Those al the alerts just went through. Sorry, it made me panicked. Thank you for uh, someone retweeting the stream. It didn't say who. Um, oh, that was me. <laughs> well, thank you. All right, so we can we can move free action or, or yeah, we wait for our turn. This is free action, so yeah, you got Ow. free action to move, and then you're gonna need to put in the initiative, which was from last uh, last time. Okay. And I'm gonna have um, Lot Erina move on the prison uh, on the guards' turns. She's just behind Rocky. Um, yeah, so Randall, it's your turn. You've seen this one guard turn, and then you see all the guards, like like him, alert all the other guards. Hey, prisoners. Randall, it's your turn. Um, and like, <laughs> it's time to go, folks. <laughs> my, my bolt. Five, ten, 15, 20, 25, 30, 35, 40, 
to ask, is this door open? Like where I am? Yeah, you able to push you able to push through. They didn't okay. lock up these these entrances. I, I I as I run past Tay, I'm like, they've, we've been spotted. We might want to get out of here. How the heck did you get Oh my god. She dropped her books. It's not my fault. <laughs> I did pretty well actually, all things considered. Anything else? Or is it Nah man, I'm out of here. No, it's Tay, your turn. Uh, I'm just gonna keep keep zooming. I don't want to get caught. Okay. I can dash again, right? You, yeah, I think you have dash as a bone section. No, not as a bone section. Sorry, you can't dash an extra time, but you can. You get to use it as like a a free action. I think as a yeah. So I can move sixty here. Yeah. Cool. Mm -hmm. I'm just gonna give her. Get her done. It is more on your turn. turn. Actually, I'm gonna call back um, while I pass Randall and go on your left. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I'm just gonna squeeze past Kano and go. I wouldn't have put her down for aggravated assault, but the more you know. <laughs> <laughs> and then I will dash one, two, three, six. As... That's my turn. As you're dashing, um, Randall, you see the faintest of shadows running with Moran in that moment as well, as she's just wisping as they go past you. Just for the just for a faint second. Rocky, it's your turn. Interesting. So, what what were the other people doing? They are all running, or everyone's running, but these guards are alert and they are gonna. I was running. What guards? Oh, those. Okay, sorry. They weren't on the Oh, I don't know. <laughs> um, where did everybody run to? Like, over this? To the north. Yeah, yeah, they've, they've, they've gone north, yeah. Okay, then I guess I will continue and just do 60 feet of movement. Um, uh, dash in all the way. Dash in through this. Yeah, I'll move all the way wherever that, that arrow was just at. Yeah. 30. Ruining the pool game that's happening during. <laughs> Jump on the pool table. Yeah. Kano, you. As we a, were saving that. As Moran dashes past, uh, not Moran, sorry. Yeah, Moran dashes past you. You, 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 you can see like the, the corner of your eye. You can see uh, Erin are picking up all her books as she begins to start running, and she starts running beside you, which she cannot. Oh god, I'm still because... technically in stealth, stealth, aren't I? I got 26 of them. Yeah. So yeah, you are like. They saw Erin and drop her books, so they're like they're, they're focusing in on her for a, a moment. They just like you don't know exactly what's uh, what's the situation. Oh, hell. oh why? Thank you. Sorry, that was the, like the the alert scared me. Thank you, Miss, for retweeting another stream. I don't know why it's doing the alert noises though, because it shouldn't be. Thank you. Um, it is your turn, uh, Kana. All right, I'm gonna oh. I'm gonna like. Scoop her up and put her over my shoulder. Oh. <clears throat> and I'm just gonna start running. She kind of gets like spooked for a second, but then she realizes you guys are all heading the same way. And you... Five, ten, fifteen, twenty. And then. As you dash. do that, you hear the guard say, Hey, what are you doing? Put it down. And we gotta go, guys! And I just and run they past. Start chasing. Uh, so, yeah, she's on my shoulder, too. Um, oh shit, never mind. Yeah, okay. Yeah, that, that'd be my turn. I'm gonna put Aaron on your sh on your side. It is, Randall, back to you. As you can hear, like, uh, as you see everyone just coming through, um, through, running through the doors, you can hear uh, through the, the door behind you is about to, like, open as the guard is trying to push, 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 push through. Uh, you, <laughs> I'm, I'm dashing again. Uh, can I can I dash over top of the counter here of the food? Yeah, I know you like just slide over. Okay. Ooh. All right, that's as far as I can make it. And pretty, I will try at this point, like as much as I can, get down below the counter and start like crouch walking down here, so I'm even less spotable. Mm. And that is my turn. Excuse me, sir. They're right on us, folks. 
<laughs> as stealthily as we can. You guys are like rushing, and like you, like it's like with all the panic that's been happening, you could like they you you might be passed. You could assume you're being passed up as just panicked uh, prisoners, but at the same time, having come from the library, one of those guards is not cute. Wary is the word. Uh, Taya, it's your oh, turn. Oh yeah. Yeah, I'm just gonna. I'm gonna do another slide after seeing Randall's six slide, mm. and I'm just gonna use my bonus action to dash. Copycat. <laughs> Not a copycat if I do it better. Roll a both these roll um dexterity or athletics for me or performance. <laughs> I was scared. I was like, oh no, you can't make me have a, a bad roll after saying something so cocky. Did you say dexterity or performance? Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! Oh, no! As, she's like, as she says that, she you see her just go to slide and she just like, there's some plate on the table that you guys both slide it on. And she just like gets just <laughs> covered in like the soup and like all the, the food that like you guys had been cooking earlier in the kitchen. Just like her entire just uh, her cape her cowl her clothing all just covered in potato soup and just no. she ah uh, it, it's you you all just feel like a wave of embarrassment in that moment um can i, can I stealth again <laughs> i don't want to be a part of this moment <laughs> go ahead <Jess. laughs> just slink out of here uh, uh, right here Hey. Y'all saw nothing. Uh, should I go back? Oh, sorry. Give me I feel I like I... Well, you sorry. still I don't know if I would have been able to dash. Make... Oh, it over the table with such a... Yeah, no, yeah, you, you'd still be able to dash. With the... And then, yeah, like, as soon as that happens, you just quickly just, like, pull your cape over and just, just like, mess. just run <laughs> towards the kitchen. I will say this is a wall, so you guys would have had to climb over it. So you would, ha I'd say, you'd have 10 feet less of movement. Um, so like but yeah, here. you are able to get just straight into the kitchen. Yeah, and like the doors, like are those like kitchen doors, so like they go in and out. And like you, like as soon as it like shuts behind you, you know, not like the only person that was in the kit, uh, in the uh, the canteen at the time was the one like guy serving food, and uh, the one that you guys had like pushed to the ground uh, last, like as you were running through earlier, and uh, Nobu. Fuck this. And guy. you hear Nobu snigger as like you you did that. Um, but then like as soon as you're gone. You don't hear him anymore. Moran is not the soup. <laughs> All right. Um, I'm a little afraid to make that maneuver after just seeing how Taya ate shit, but I might as well go for it. <laughs> no, no, that was no, do it. She was eating soup. Oh not yeah, just soup. casually eating soup. Yeah. I never did roll the athletics that you wanted me to. Should I have rolled that? Like, no, roll? I think that was that was specifically. Just, I wanted you both to just see who got better, but I think like it's funny with just Taya having rolled it because she's the one that wanted to prove something. <laughs> uh, I'm also yeah, going to try to jump over the barrier. Go ahead. You'll, you'll be able to, but like, it will just take 10 feet off your movement. Four, five, six. All right, and then one, two, three, four, five, six. Cool. That's my turn. Mm -hmm. Rocky Rocktoberfest. Uh, yeah, I'll do another dash away. Uh, wait, the, the, is this guy? What's Kano? Up Kano's carrying. Oh, uh, Kano's carrying that person. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah, yeah. You okay. can hear the guards behind you. I try. Oh, they're about to God. get through. I'm gonna dash. This over here is. This is a wall, right? Yeah. Uh, so you'd have to jump over it, but you or like climb over it. Sorry. Okay. Well then. I like I'm leaving will... a trail of food wherever we're going. Yeah. There is a bit of, like uh, you see a few um, footsteps from uh, Mara I mean Taya with her soup, but like they uh, she's able to, like wipe them off as she like made her way up. 15. Okay, so I'll move here. This is forty five feet of movement right there, and then I'll jump over this wall. Mm -hmm. Do I need to roll anything or just? Nope, you're able to just climb over. Sick. Um, uh, how much? Is okay, yeah, I'll just do that. As like you left the security, you hear the gods. Hey, wait up! We have questions. As you, um, like before. No, 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 not listening. Not listening. And, like, as, like, as soon as, like, you leave through, you hear the door shut. Um, you, you hear the other door open as, like, you hear the guards rushing in. 
and they they begin to dash and just like barge to dash the yeah they dash towards you Kana. and like they like one of them barges right into you uh but like doesn't realize he's just barged into you and like and you just get bumped roll a strength save for me okay one second uh. 15. I don't, I don't, I like, I feel like I don't need to roll, make this roll, but I'm gonna make it anyway, just in case. I need to remember not to put like those down there, cause, like, they'll go onto your sheets. Um, strength. Yeah, as the guard, like, just like bumps into you, like, they just your strength, and they, they actually run straight into one of your golden fists, and you just see the guy just get knocked out immediately. Oh no! Oh shit! I didn't mean to do that. I didn't mean to do that. Oh no! <laughs> you just hear a lot of air in the room. As this guy just like completely hits the ground and falls back <sighs> through the door. Oh, perfect! Look, that was a mistake, guys. That was an accident. <laughs> it's not your turn, Kano. All right, I'm gonna go to the other side of this table, and with my one free hand, I'm gonna use my cannon action to like. Can I like? Flip this table upward and like try to aim it this way to like wedge into the doorway. You can. You want? Do you want that as your cannon action, or do you want that just as like a just like strength check to push it up? Uh, push it up. Uh, I'm just gonna do. I'll just do a strength check. Yeah, low Erina will help you, and you see her with her tail helping you uh, try to pick up the table, so you will have advantage on that. Strength check or uh, yeah, strength check. Yeah. Strength. It, oh, I didn't do advantage. Uh, Twenty three is still pretty good. Yeah, uh, twenty three. <laughs> yeah, look with Low Erna's help, like she, you see her tail, like just push up just a bit, but then you, you just take it off her hands, and she's like, oh, oh my, as the table just like you just pick it up with your uh, with your two golden fists, and like are you slide how how you moving it to uh, the door? I'm gonna I'm gonna like, so here I move I move like ten feet, so I'm gonna use like the rest of my movements. Yeah, so 15 feet and just like push it into the, the, the doorway. Yeah. And just like, I'm just gonna try my best to just wedge it into like the, 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 the doorway as best I can so they can't move it. It ain't, it ain't, uh, it ain't pretty, but like you both, you, you are able to like do it without any struggle. And the guards are like just trying to climb over the table as you, uh, through, you can see through the window. Um, but they are struggling to get, make their way over. Anything else? All right, uh, I'm assuming that was my full action. I can't dash. You do hear one of the guards... Yeah, that was your action. Uh, you do hear one then of the guards... Then I move back five feet and that's not be Hey, there. Kano, stop. Stop that we... As like, as you were just like... do uh, As like the guard collapses onto him and then gets uh, covered by a table. Yeah. Anyway? Nice. Uh, I just move back the rest of my five feet and that'll be it. Wonderful. It is now... Uh, Random back to you. So are they crawling through right now, or like? And yeah, they're trying to crawl us? over the table. They can only see. Uh, they're right now. They're very focused on Kano and Low Arena. Okay, I am going to run up to this like uh, kitchen staff guy, uh, and uh, hey, so ki kitchen crew, you're you're loyal to me, right? Yeah. Uh, yes. Yes, Randall, sir. Uh, there's gonna be some guards coming through here, and I need you to run over there and uh, distract them. If anything, tell them maybe we went the other way. Oh. <laughs> Get them off a of Kano right now, please. Oh, uh, I mean, I'm not sure how I can how I can get rid of get them of Kano, but I can. I mean, I can at least like tell them that you ran the other way. Um. Uh, uh, okay. Um. Okay. And then you seem like panic and then like, run over towards these boxes by you uh, uh rocky and you just see them pulling out just like a few crates of like just like um like food and a compost bin i, I shoot him a thumbs up when he does that. and i will continue my movement 15 20 25 30 what was that could um, I dash, sorry could i dash on top of that or was that my action i will say you could dash When you run into the kitchen, you see Taya just covered in soup. That's a good look for you. It contrasts very nicely against her, the blacks, the uh, the the creamy the creamy white 
Okay. You look super. Oh my, get the fuck out of my house. Hey yo. Hey. 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 Nice. Give yourself advantage. I mean, not advantage. <laughs> give yourself inspiration. If we weren't working together, Randall, I swear, I swear, as I'm like picking like pieces of potato off and of carrot. my cape. Yeah. It is also now your turn, uh, Taya. Um, okay, so Randall's hideout isn't like open right now, right? Do I know how to do that? You saw Randall do it once, roll intelligence, see if you can remember, if you remember exactly how you would have been able to go about it. Let's see if you remember the rock. Okay, that's, uh, how do I roll the base attributes? You see on the side where it oh, says, I found you, it. yeah. You remember the general area the rock was in, and you just like could just start kicking, and you you reckon you'd be able to get it. Um, I'm gonna, you know what? I'm just gonna spend my turn just like I'll take like a step forward and just keep picking off soup so that mm -hmm. when everyone else gets here, I don't look like an absolute mess. Yeah. Wonderful. It is now Moran your turn. All right. Um, would you mind recapping? Are the guards like actively attacking Kano, or what's going on? Thank you, Young, for reaching out of the stream. I accidentally they... knocked one out. Yeah, he's accidentally knocked one out, and he's like blocking the door uh, to stop them from climbing in. Okay. Not, like, now, just active. to clarify, I put I put this door or, or this this table up like like lengthwise, so that so it tries to yeah. block as much of the door as it can. All right. Yeah. Okay. So what I'm gonna, gonna do? To Mm -hmm. is manifest my echo mm. what the and then fuck? describe uh, how that looks if you could what do you do right so Moran reaches out and her sort of her, her sleeve flies back and the shadow that was hers you know plastered sort of against the light of these vending machines against the wall uh, mm. peels away from her in wisps of smoke and goes over the counter uh, and begins to sort of smoke hazily in the dining room. And it is moving towards you and it's moving fast. One, two, three, four, five. And I'm gonna try to use the echo to, to hold the table and call out to you, Kano, come on. And then, uh, yeah, Look. I will wait you for Kano. Yeah, you see, you, you and Aaron about see and Rocky, you just see this shadow, um, like, waft its way towards Kane, and then with one hand it goes to hold the table, and like you feel the weight push in on the table from where this uh, shadow holds the uh, the table, and then it just turns to you, Kano, and it, they look down at you because they are a lot taller than you. Well, not a lot taller, but but I think but like just by a few uh, more inches, and like, they just like look down, and they have a very towering um comf comforting presence in this moment and then they just look back at the kitchen anything else that's it Wonderful. it is now rocky Rocktoberfest. all right uh i'm gonna just do more dashing oh, that's the kitchen guy never mind. Um, he's, 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 he's <laughs> pull out compost things i'll dash right here yeah actually and i can dash all the way over the to the entrance of the kitchen looks like sick oh hey rocky oh hey how's it looking out there uh not too pretty uh, a little bit of a you know, a little bit of mess, but it, it it could it could get better. You know, maybe it could all work out. I think. <clears throat> I think it could be good. I think it'd be fine. When this is happening, by the way, uh, Tay, you can see through like the shutter of the door. You can see Nobu running towards the um, the uh, that the, little weasel. The what's it called? Um, the courtyard. Okay. And Kano, okay, you you would also see him running off to the the courtyard for a second. And as that's happening, you hear, you can hear the faintest of just noises, strange. It sounds like electric arcing just for a second. As coming through these doors. Okay. Yep. 
That's it. Oh my Anything God. else, Rocky? Uh, no. No. Perfect. All right. It is the guards' turns, and they're gonna try and like push in. Oh my God! I forgot I have eighty feet of movement when I dash. <laughs> Oh. I, I'm a monk, I have 40 feet of movement. Yeah. I've been doing 60 this whole time. They will, with disadvantage, they're going to try and push uh, past the the uh, the table wall that you've made. As they are blocked behind it. They are struggling, and you can just like hear them s banging against the table as they're trying to push through. And you can just see the shadow's hand grow more tense and push in on the table. And you can just then hear the sound of wooden footsteps against stone. And um, and amongst them also some me uh, metallic footsteps. As you can see through the glass here, you can see the, uh, the silhouette of um, two people. Or the silhouette of like one person and some more guards. I just need to put their token down. I don't think I have made a thing for them just yet, so I'm going to quickly do something. Don't mind me, guys. You see... Hang in there. It's a picture of a cat. <laughs> <laughs> you see, stepping in, the warden. Uh, Rocky, oh. roll me. Uh, Rocky, you oh, have oh, gained an additional one... Uh, actually, yeah. I mean, as um, as like, you step into the kitchen, you see an onion in the corner, and you just hear the words, Yo! come from the onion as a little a little tiny cat spirit wafts towards you and then bibs you with 10 hit points thank you oh. for the uh, the 10 hit points oh sick i was like i did not see the chat i thought this was just happening there uh, i man. thought that too me too i thought for a second <laughs> we were getting trippy goddamn veg tails food for a second <laughs> i was like is, is the warden like some type of psychedelic dude makes me see hallucinations am i like got to lose my mind i've put him on oh, chat okay. yeah you see stepping out of yes this, thank you this door um uh let me see, you you see the door slam open slam wide and like as it hits the um the wall you see the hinges break off of it through the uh, through the glass and you can just see this the the proud and angry walk I would describe of the warden Hira Hikana steps through um carrying her um her uh, naginata as she just you see the the blade is um just scratching against uh, the the floor as she's like um as she's stepping through and just slashing at it every now and then and you can just see like her hair is held up high and it's just like flaring as she's um she's just walking through uh when I'm she's terrified sees... and very attracted right now wonderful that's that was the <laughs> that was the goal and as <laughs> and as you see her look <laughs> you see her look through the glass at you and you can see her rage in her eyes just her green eyes just erupt you can't even see the as... chat <laughs> As her hair just bursts into fire, and you just see the room con is just consumed by fire. That like it was her hair for that one moment. I'm just gonna put the music on again, and you can see like you can see some of the fire flick through amongst all the um through the the wedge door, and you just see her just stare at you. And she is, you can tell she's furious. She's not. She's normally an angry woman, but this she is terrifying in this moment and behind her you see a tall metallic figure um that towers over her step through the uh oh through, shit through the door and you can see like there's, there's a few more behind <laughs> mm. you see this hooded metallic um forged guard you know these you've seen these walking around the factory a few times the adaptive combat units um and you see like they're they give off this blue glow as they're just scanning and then they look and you can see that uh one of them look at you and you can see their triangle uh, face yeah they can they can see oh. through this glass and you see their triangle faceplate shift to a square then a circle then a rhombus 
and then a hexagon. And then for a moment, you just see eyebrows. one big eye. Uh, one like, like circles in on circles as if like a target. And you just see like uh, go to lift up its uh, Naginata as if it was uh, going to attack. I'm gonna do this. And I'm gonna do that. I am um, now. Uh, it is. Kena, what would you have to do? Uh, I, we're still carrying this girl. I'm going to run. She uh, doesn't. Sorry. Um, she doesn't like when you when you go to pick her up again. She doesn't. She doesn't fight it. Oh, okay, just, so you I'm can't. You run. just surprise her. Run here, and I'm gonna use my dash now. Remembering that I can run 80 feet. I'm gonna dash all the way up there. You would take ten off, I think, for the uh, the the wall that you have to jump over. Ten off? Oh, okay, that's all right. Mm -hmm. uh, I think it's here. Uh, da -da. So it'll be that's twenty. Yeah, right there. And I dash all the way up. I guess here then. Everyone else is piled up here. We gotta go, guys. <laughs> like, we gotta ah, run. <laughs> hmm. I think the warden just came in. She got these robot things. I'm scared. Where's Miranda? Oh, no. I'm scared, but also, you know, she's kind of hot. Don't say Not that. You, you know of Hiro Hakana. You're, you're, you're aware of. <laughs> you're, Randall, Randall's met her a few times. I don't like her. The, the fact that, don't bring up her looks, because like that is a problem I have. <laughs> 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 it's like, come on, like I'm trying to hate you. All right, I put the girl down now, too. Oh, thank you. Don't kill her! What do you mean? Yeah. Sorry, it's, it's gotta happen. She's got a broken leg. It's... I put her down. It's not a horse. <laughs> <It's... laughs> I guess. Oh, I've only got three books now. Thank you for bringing some of my books up, at least. As I, she... That's like four more than I have. So you're yeah. Good. <laughs> uh, it You'll is... get more, right? Randall, back to you. As you hear the ward... You can hear the warden's voice commanding the guards to, like... Just the very muffled voice of her, but she's like, you can hear her shouting through the walls. Uh, Gotta do this fast. Do this fast. I, ki I kick the fucking, uh, the spot. Mm -hmm. You see then I the fire go out immediately and just the, the walls slide away as Randall's nook is revealed. Everyone get in here. Moran, I hope you're around the corner, please. <laughs> and that'll be my I'm turn. coming. Just in a whisper. <laughs> okay. Mm -hmm. uh, yeah. Yeah. You, I would like you guys, like, if you, you'd be able to, like, you, you going into the nook, sorry, Randall? Well, I'll be waiting here to, like, close it okay, off. Okay. As you hear the metallic, um, it was your turn, I forget. And you don't see this happen. You don't know what's happening. But this, uh, this guard has gone to hell. Where he can. Um, I think Moran, yeah, you can see. Moran, you see this guy with the compost post, like him clamber over the gate and he's holding this just tub of compost. And like just seeing Hanako's echo, he like um, puts it around at the base of the table around Hanako, but like not near Hanako. Um, and he just gives her a, a terrified, weary nod. But then you see him look through the glass for a moment and just freeze. I don't think I have line of sight on uh, the warden. You don't. Yeah, you 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 can't you you don't know that like they're there. You can only hear their shouting voice. And the AC, you did get advantage on their uh, on their attack, but alas, you can just hear something dunk into the glass as you see just the a nib of a bolt uh, that's electric blue. Um, like pierce through the glass, but just halt just before it um like it stopped before it could get through. And they are gonna go and help. The guards push push the door. It is Taya, your turn. I'm going to give Lorena uh whatever books I had on me. There's like probably like two books that are now covered in soup and go I I'm sorry, <laughs> like I I really tried, but <laughs> They, 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 you could still read them, they just might, you know, smell of, like, soup. It, it, it's an extra, like, bonus, you know, fragranted book. Okay, anyway, um, and she's just gonna... I guess, thank you. She says, uh, 
sad voice. I'm... <laughs> I'm sorry. Um, I would like to actually look at... His name is no Nobu, right? Nobu, yeah. Would I be able to roll an investigator or an insight or something to see if I know what he's doing? Because it's a really weird place to run to. Yeah, go ahead. Roll uh, in, um... Insight. Is Nobu a guy or a girl? Nobu is a guy. Uh, I've been, I think I'm a con or a girl. I'm a girl this whole time. <laughs> oh, no. I don't think you do. <laughs> I don't think you've ever uh, gendered them. Um, sorry, what's well, up? Uh, hey, man. Good Moran? for me. Hey. I don't think I rolled very well. Yeah. You, in the panic of everything happening, you can only, you just assume he's maybe just running away. Um, okay. I'm going to think nothing of it and yeah. go into the, <laughs> the hideout. Yeah. I will add the kitchen staff also runs away. Um, if we can start to run away, I wouldn't know it. A Moran. Um, so yeah, you want to go to the nook? Moran, what would you have to do? It's your turn. Uh, book it! <laughs> Definitely book. haul ass. I feel so bad for this little guy, but it's yeah, time to go. Yeah, we ruined this guy's whole day. <laughs> yeah. Alright, one, two, Like, you push him three, over and like, then still ask five, the world of him. And he, he was so willing to Um, help. It was so sweet. And I'm just gonna get into the thing. I'm just gonna go. Yeah. And with that, I end my turn more than 30 feet from my Echo, and she disappears. As, um, oh, you, you can't see them. You don't, you don't know what's happened. Never mind. Nope. nope. I'm in the, I'm in the dark, Kaz. Rock, Rocktober? What's up? Um. Everybody else in the tunnel? Yep, they've gone in the nook. Alright, now go in the nook. There you are. Wow. <laughs> Kano, you can hear a bit of struggle, but as um, but then you hear the table smash into the ground, and the whimper of of uh, the elf that like was helping you guys. <laughs> as you can just see through a bit of the glass, like the guards pouring in. And the adaptive combat unit make their way into the room, giving way to the, the warden. And when they come in, there isn't just one ACU, but a uh, a little, a little, a little squad. Uh. Uh. Yeah. That's all they do. And you can just hear. A uh, Hikana just shine. Where is he? I hear that and I'm like, come on, come on, come on, come on! Where can I go? Thank you, Jamie, for the, uh, oh. the prime sub also. Thank you. Um, yeah. When you hear her ask for where is he, then you hear, where is Kano? Oh, she's calling me by name, man. Oh, oh. my god. <laughs> 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 I, I say that in character to Randall. <laughs> Get over it, man. Get inside. <laughs> it is now. Oh Lord. Okay, no, it's your turn. I I just I do what he says. And I just book it in here as fast as I can. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, twenty-five. And you get in. I get in, and I, I just keep on running. Uh, I'm just gonna... <laughs> Randall? Up there. <laughs> you hear the uh, footsteps. Lo Lauren has, like, uh, what have we went in with... Um... Okay. She just, like, in, 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 in there? Uh, she just asks. Uh, she's, like, um, about to go in. Yeah, it's a little bit of... Cr it's a little bit of cr uh, crawling, just like your nook, but you'll find it eventually. Just follow, follow Kato. And then I'll she, be in there in a second. She follows. All right. Rando, it's your turn. Yeah, and as quick as possible, I'm going to follow in, I guess, and kick the rock and close this in here because holy crap, I don't want to deal with yeah. terrifying robots. <laughs> in a rush and a woof of air, as the the furnace builds itself back up in uh, in the in the pits area, you are all in the nook. And I'm just going to put the music on. And, like, are you waiting there to see, like, what's happening? Because you can hear 
them making their way towards you guys. I will I will definitely be staying here and listening for sure. Mm-hmm. As you guys are waiting, you can hear the um, role perception actually. If you can hear from the common room. God damn. Uh, I, I saw it to hit 12. I'm like, oh shit. Yeah, you you can't hear what's happening in the in the um you can hear just like faint words the elf that like you had asked to help he's like oh no he went to the courtyard you can just hear like uh, him just like basically repeating that constantly but then um silenced with a few uh the sounds of a meat bag being uh being punched and then just Take that meat bag <laughs> oof and then you hear like as like you you it's it's very I would I'm gonna put on a different playlist for this. A... Is he possibly within thirty feet of me? Nope. Can I like reach out reach out like psychically to try to find him? Actually, no. Let's see. Let's see. From within the nook. Nope. He's fifty five feet. Hey, the damn it. He wasn't able to. Um, but you hear the. I'm gonna. Just clear the place and play this you you hear the very like the faint footsteps of uh, her um her wooden sandals as among you can like it's very def- defined compared to those her footsteps are a lot heavier and more driven is the way i would describe it and like you can hear the metallic footsteps as well of the adaptive combat units and you can just hear you three check the courtyards i'm i'm gonna check the kitchens maybe i'll be able to find them this time and you can hear the doors for the um for the courtyard open and then you hear the the kitchen doors open as you hear the metallic footsteps on stone make their way in I just, I just turn and gesture for everyone to be quiet. Like, put my uh, my finger up to my lips, pretty much. Like John Krasinski. Mm-hmm. We're in a quiet place right now. <laughs> Royal Rumble, Sam just t- it did. got later action. Because of uh, the situation, there isn't anyone that like can be affected by that. But I will, that will become relevant in the next thing, uh, next next chance we can. I shall bring that up. Remind me in a second. Um, but you hear Hira kind of step in. Okay. You, the fridges. You, the crates. You, all the shelving units. As you can see, her just pointing at the the, the units to to start checking everything. And you can like they there's no like uh, noises or anything. There's just like the you hear like a. I would probably it's like a a glitching noise, as like they like make a agreeing no, um, tone or a chirp is the way I describe it. Yeah, agreeing chirp, and you can just see Hakana's hair begin to flare more and more as she's just searching, and you can just see like she using a glaive, she's able to pry open the um, the the grates that are on the floor. And you just see a fiery visage of her also just like just jump into uh, this one um, this hole, and you can assume she's just she's sent a um, a magical servant to uh, to pr- uh, to search through those, and you just you can just see her just surveying. And she's still looking around you can just see her like the rage in her building up and you can like it's very like with other people like like it's like you can see it through their expressions and their face and stuff and even like when she's like not looking you can just see her hair growing more furious as she's just searching we're just watching the guards searching you can hear them tearing the kitchen apart as they are searching and like you can see them like destroying the counters and the storage the fr- this fridge here broken the radio is creating a bunch of static as they've smashed that and that's fallen to the ground 
and a lot of food is just ruined, scattered all over the floor. That, that dragon's put us through far too much. He's shamed me far too long. I know he, this was his doing. And he's got another, at least one more helping him. I don't think those golden hands were enough for Kano. I think both of them should get the golden reward. A gold star. For this. And she just doesn't finish her sentence. She just rushes out as the guards are still searching. As she rushes out, you see the room just like wash with fire again as her hair consumes it. Uh, once once it's gone quiet enough, after like a minute or two, I'm going to gesture to everyone and be like, I think it's okay for us to move back now into the into the comfortable space of the nook. Yeah. Let's go. As you can hear the chirping, uh, glitching noises of the ACU in the kitchen still, just faintly as you guys are making your way away. And Rocky, you see Erina, uh, uh, as you make your way in, and she's very panicked in the in in, in this moment. You, how, how do you how 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 does how does our how does our how does that Urchinasi boy feel with all this happening? Can I ask? He is, I mean, very concerned and worried. I feel like uh, for sure. Um, he he is just kind of dumbfounded probably is the best way to put it um he's just kind of like it all feels surreal and he's not really sure how to how to take it at the moment but he's he's gonna just try to keep trucking along until uh, when while looking at arena as you're like thinking these thoughts it feels like you're looking in the mirror is the way i would describe it she's just as in shock and just terrified of this whole experience and like, but like in like as she like as like you guys like it feels like a few moments um go past as you guys are like, just like just looking at each other and just seeing your both both your reflections i mean both your um emotions reflecting uh on one each on one another uh she kind of gets back in into it and oh ex excuse me she, no. she she continues crawling through yeah we should get going and you guys make your way to randall's nook Get the way. <laughs> <laughs> no worries. It's. I'll put. I, I can put you there. Oh, you're already there. Oh, did I um, find it? Sick. You see, when Erin steps in, she is her fl her mouth hits the floor, and she's just stunned. As first thing she sees, like everyone else saw, is the the pin board with all your the strings attached to it, with the various plans and ideas you have for escaping, strewn across it. And the litter of just loot and gear in the corner amongst you notice Randall some of it's it's gotten a bit bigger as you can assume your associate may have uh, brought some uh, some more things in for you oh you, perfect you, it's uh it's mainly just just just, just a bit of uh, foods here and there uh, some armor and like just and and some more just like just just things just a range of assort uh, an assortment and you can see um, with that also there's like the, the chairs in the corner and just the table in the middle with paper strewn over it and a candle just lighting the entire room. And everyone, like you guys, uh, when you guys all take your places and um, it feels like you guys almost feel like very comfortable. Or not comfortable, safe is the way. Like, or just a very, a, a very, I, I would say not, not, not safe in in the truest sense but more so just safe in that you you have a few moments where like you can not completely drop your guard but you can just be you you don't need to to run at the as of right now you're you're safe um and when moran you stepped into the room um 
everyone else can see when the when the candles flicker there's this shadow that like just lingers over moran for a moment and looking around the room it it, it looks like it glances at kana for a moment and then just turns to Taya, uh, holding on to moran's shoulder and looks at rocky and then randall and then back to kana uh... and you just see smoking as it just hovers or, or lingers behind Moran, like a silent ethereal guardian. Your shadow all right there, or uh, what's, what's going on yes, with Yes, I'm just very anxious. You heard what they said about, about you and Randall? I mean, I'm more worried about the shadow moving there. I'm going to change the music. But yeah... What they said about us, Randall, they want us more gold. I think that just means that our plan of escape has to be enacted much more quicker than expected. Listen, even if we fail, I don't want that for you or me. So, I guess we gotta make sure we don't fail. Failure is not an option, my friend. Don't worry, we, you won't get you won't get any more golden egg or whatever it is. The golden what is reward. The process? What would what would happen? It well, would consume all of you, wouldn't it? You go and meet this scary thing, this beast, unlike any other, as it sort of forces you to change into this gold. Most people don't su survive it. In fact, I don't think anyone survived it except me. Not a risk know. I'm willing to take. Do you know? Do you know why it stopped for you? I, I don't. I know it just stopped in my hands. I thought I thought the creature did it for me, just to keep me alive a little bit longer. When you say. The creature. What do you mean? What what happened? I've seen the effects, but I've never seen what starts it. I've just sent you a thing, AJ. Oh my god. That looks amazing. <laughs> it's uh It's like a lion. This is machine that I've been working on before this happened. This creature. I messed up on it and it turned me. I don't know what stopped it. I don't know what's what it is. But I don't want to face it again. So it is a Kasakawa creation that turns people into gold. I guess, though. I think this one's name was Sanyi. Sanyi. Sanyi? I've, uh... I might have heard of that name before. Also, when you do say the word Sanyi, the... Like last time, when the room kind of gets consumed by Shadow, uh, when Moran had that grand uh, shadow it appears again um towering over over Moran. and it looks a lot bigger this time as it looks very intently at you kano and then turns Why's to looking at me turns to Taya, and just the eyes linger on Taya. what's that thing Eyes are looking at me too. This, this is my echo, and she was killed by Sanyu. Like you, and she looks over at Kano and his arms. She was turned slowly and completely to gold. In 
in like this like strange darkness that like uh, Moran's echo creates, you can see just the faintest bit of glitter in inside the shadows every now and then uh, as the light flickers. Uh, Kana, amongst all the swirling smoke, as the um, what were what were what did she smell like? What were, what was her favorite incense smell again? Sorry. Um, it was just very traditional temple incense, like mm. agarwood and cloves. Yeah. If you you know if you've ever been to a temple in this world, it smells like that. Thank you. Perfect. Yeah, you like that's the smell like these. Well, I, I came to this prison in the first place in the hope of finding answers. I wanted to know what happened. I wanted to know if I could stop it. But if it's going to happen to both of you, then we really, we really should leave. I think we should. I think, I think we can't stay here any longer, especially with the warden. I don't want to see that happen again. I've fought with Sanyi, and I didn't see anything of turning people to gold. You fought with him? Yeah, um, I was, I was around trying to hunt him, actually, and uh, I got into a tussle with him. I was with, uh, with someone else, and we kind of had to bail. Like, Sanyi is definitely very powerful, um, but I never see, saw anyone get turned to gold. Well, she did. Well, I did. I don't want anyone else to go through the same fates. Listen, it looks like a few of us have a thing against Sanyi. Yeah, it's definitely... I've definitely got a lot of things against Sanyi now. Especially because it's kind of the reason why I'm here. I don't know what well, you, you guys want to do. Well, you fought him. You fought him face to face. If my mentor couldn't beat him, I doubt that we could, but... Do you think we have a chance? Um... I, I definitely want to fight him again. I'll be ready this time. But Me too. I, I, I don't know. Well, whatever we have to do, we have to get out of here before Randall gets captured. So, if we can take him on, if we can stop what he's doing, that'll be all I could hope for. But let's make a plan to get out of here first. Yeah, I think we need to first make a plan. Randall? A plan sounds good to me. And I just start chucking people's like things onto the table. Mm -hmm. That uh, is specific to everybody. It's grab time to get it. Oh, yeah. I grab my bow. <laughs> I grab my fists. And, and my sword. My... <laughs> and as you guys start grabbing onto your things, you guys uh, start planning. Arr, so here's the plan. I could build us a bomb using all this crap from the arcade machines, and it'll help if we tear apart those freezers next to the kitchen. I'm gonna need help with that though, uh, for my hand situation. I'll help Kano and build the bomb. I could make the bomb a little more potent. Rocky will plant the bomb in the common room storage area. Alrighty. Now I don't think these eggs would be good for omelets, but... Maybe they're coming from the portal some way, somehow. Alright, and then we're gonna make our way into the factory. Kano, you are an engineer. Where was the way out? There's an elevator in the main factory that we could ride down to the shipping yard once it's done. I've never been down there, so I don't know what we're getting into. Of course. Hey Randall, did you mention the sewer tunnel in the laundry room? I could probably take the sewer away. We could sneak our way to the laundry room, and from there, get into the sewer. Yeah, that could work. Arr, but how about we don't be doing that plan? 
all this planning, whatever. Let's just go wild, take out as many guards and facilities as we can on our way out of here. I'm always down for a brawl. I'll go grab my bow. Hi everyone. Um, I'm, we're, we're, well, I say I am. We're going to be taking a break, um, but I hope you enjoyed <laughs> that little uh, that little vignette there. I uh, I want to thank uh, Sammy, Scientist Sam in chat, for helping me record the uh, the Roll Twenty moments, and also uh, I want to thank my cast who did obviously the voiceovers of their characters. Uh, let me put the BRB music on. Uh, where are we? Where is oh, BRB? 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 There you are. Yeah, but yeah. Uh, pre-recorded planning was uh, that was uh pre-recorded. Like we we had that we did the plan uh beforehand uh to make sure we um because that was an idea we wanted from like the beginning because this only this is a three uh part mini campaign so we wanted to just try and like make sure the pacing wasn't um so much, a lot of the time was taken up by the planning portion um and yeah and like so i hope you guys enjoyed that uh i'm going to quickly go through our sponsors uh while we're just taking a break and um and yeah so first of all uh bard rpg uh but yeah oh before i do plan for is a great idea yeah thank you um <laughs> this is actually the first time we've done it like like this we do plan like a few scenes or very specific scenes but it's very much like i just like we get brainstorming the ideas and i i have the final image in my head this one was very much like as a cast we we wanted this like vignette moment and uh it was, it was a very it was a very fun thing to put together and, I, and i'm glad you guys enjoyed it as much as we did um but yeah, I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly go over the sponsors. Uh, but yeah, before I do that, I hope you've had a good time. Thank you for thank you guys for uh being here. If you ha have had to bounce or you've just joined or you're lurking or watching the VOD, thank you so much for giving us your time. It's really appreciated. Um, first is uh Bard RPG. Uh, Bard RPG. They are a tabletop a uh a complement a tool uh, as you were um for helping um helping produce a more cooperative and cohesive narrative that is used as a tool by both uh, GM and player and like it's it's essentially like a whole group thing that um is up on Kickstarter we've just gone past the um um the the initial run of it all uh we're just preparing all the printing and stuff and getting all the art for this ready it will be coming out in 2023 I believe um i've done some of the uh i, I i've been doing the sci-fi art in the project and if you enjoy my art you should you should go check it out and the, the people on, on that team are all stunning they do some wonderful stuff it's i think um if you if you enjoy if you enjoy this this hobby i think you'll you will enjoy enjoy bard rpg it's it's really cool um next is if i pull up dice roll uk they are our main sponsor they're the um they they're also sponsoring us on our normal streams. Uh, you might have seen me show my dice roll uh, dice on uh, stream a few times. They produce beautiful gemstone metal and resin dice, and they're extremely cheap. And but like the the price doesn't reflect on how stunning the product is. They they they're gorgeous. They're all made by well I say not all of them, but Russ and no, sorry uh, Carlos makes uh, all his stuff uh, or he makes most of his dice at home. It's a um, and it's it's just a, it's just a really cool cool uh, project and like he or business and he creates some really really cute dice and or cool dice sorry, uh and but he also makes really cute TTRPG accessories like he's got uh, dice trays and dice bags that like I think some people from his community also make part of him. Will I be an actual player of Bard RPG on here? I run kids programs and that looks very interesting. Very unlikely. I would like to like when we do have the final product released. I would like to because like I'm not. I only do the art for the project. Uh, Scriv the Bard. She is. Oh, sorry. They are the main um, producer of the entire thing. But like, uh, I would like to uh, go over it on my on my stream at one point because as a, as a, as as a useful tool, it's pretty neat. Uh, and it would I can see it being very helpful for both me and my players, and especially for the stream. It could be there, there could be a lot of cool applications from what it provides. Like not even like as like like if it was used as just a tool to like help guide certain sections. There's some, there's some really cool stuff you can do with it. Um, yeah, Dice World UK. If you use the codes, uh, not the code, sorry. If you use the link, Dice World UK slash DM, any purchase you make supports the stream, and it goes a long way. I and I really appreciate it. 
Uh, the next is Phoenix Dice, who also create some dice. And they also have a few TTRPG accessories on their store as well. And if you use the code TAS2022, you get 20% off your purchase. Uh, Games by B, they also uh, do TTRPG accessories. And a lot of their stuff is handmade, I believe. And they are really cute. They they are stunning. I, I love a lot of their stuff they've made. They, they actually did a few giveaway with us on this one uh, swirly clad dice tray. And there is plans of um, custom Casadium uh, dice uh, uh, games by B products at some point down the line. And so if you want to grab some of the stuff, uh, use TAS2022 for 10% of uh, your purchase uh, when you are checking out. Uh, next is Just Very Mundane. It is the podcast that Jacob does. And it as I've, I've mentioned before, Jacob is hilarious. You've seen Jacob be hilarious during the stream. And if you want to wanna see him be more hilarious and just check out all the other projects he does and support him, go go check out Just Very Mundane. He does some great stuff. There's We're So Fucking Sorry, which has Sammy, uh, who is also, uh, who plays Taya. Um, she and her friend Lucy, they, they, run a, they produce a podcast where they just essentially go off on, on a topic and it's a very fun time i i highly recommend i've i have a, a guest appearance on there at one point um and it's it's a really it's a really fun time i i highly recommend i recommend both their their products sammy and jacob they their the content they produce is stunning and i can i can give no higher endorsement other than other than they're just amazing people and they produce amazing stuff and i love them with all my heart uh next is georgia who also fits in that category of i love them and the stuff they make and they work very hard and they produce amazing stuff uh georgia creates jewelry she uh creates these beautiful uh sterling silver pendants rings and earrings and necklaces and she's currently she's got two series out i believe uh there's the warrior poet uh, which is based on weapons and just combining the elegance of uh, weapons and also making them into jewelry it's it's some really cool stuff she um that's like she's the stuff like like when me and george went to uni and that was some of the stuff she was making at uni and it was some like just watching the whole process is is stunning uh the, she she does amazing work you please do go check her out and everyone else out they do they do wonderful stuff um and the other series she does is the silver dragon's hood which is a D themed set uh where she's doing a dungeon master uh pendant a rogue pendant and a fighter pendant and yeah no they they do great stuff uh, you should go check them out. Um, that's all our sponsors. Uh, I'm going to plug the Discord and my stuff. And uh, we're going to take a quick break. So, yeah. If you've enjoyed this and you want to join the community, we have a wonderful d and art community. We have a West Marches that is set in the same world as Throne Atop Sands and um, Throne Atop Sands and uh, Jailhouse Rocky as like these stories all kind of converge in on each other in a way, such as the Adaptive Combat Unit is... Uh, played by Epi's uh, character in the West Marches, and that you series of Warforged is has 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 appeared. Obviously, uh, Rocky is one of the main cast from Throne Top Sands, and there's there's just a lot of a lot of crossover. And if you want to be a part of that, hop in the Discord, join the join the West Marches, or join and share your art. Uh, other than that, there is also uh, the West Marches, uh, not the West Marches, sorry, the Throne Top Sands poster challenge, which is a a world building art uh, challenge where you can produce a poster or just some kind of graphic design that is presented in the world of Shrey Leo and uh, at, on a, where it's been extended to October 1st. And if you uh, produce something, you have the chance to win uh, through a giveaway, a Amazon gift card of £50 or uh, the Radiant Sid or D&D book and a few other D&D books and maybe some dice cards where uh, if we can get five more entries before uh, the end of August, we will have... Uh, two more slots for uh prizes uh, and so we'll have three winners or three three people that win the giveaway for that so if you want to partake in that go check out the discord or uh find the post on my instagram twitter or my other socials and there's a links for that if you want to check all my stuff out um we were planning on getting some jailhouse rocky merch out um before the session but alas i i wasn't able to get it out in time um but there will be like the the poster and uh, stuff from even um, the Rocky verse that will be up on Redbubble uh, by next by the last session of JLS Rocky. So uh, keep up, to, keep. Uh, oh no, there's been music playing. I've not had it. I've not had it being audible. Very sorry. But yeah, you'll see that when you come onto um, onto the the Discord. Um, what did I say on the Discord? What, what was the one on the Discord? 
Oh, uh, when when you'll you'll see that when uh, when 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 it does go live, and I'll be promoting that on my socials. But yeah, before I get back, we're gonna throw a quick pre-roll on for a minute and a half. You take a mental safe, take a little break, go 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 run around, maybe go do go eat some cheese. I don't know, and then come back and <laughs> join us in the next half of uh, Jailhouse Rocky to see how how uh, how their plan goes. See you guys now. So.
Bonsoir. Welcome back, everyone. Hi. And uh, thank you guys for joining us for part, uh, or the second half Bien of part two. Yeah, gonna get rid of the terminal because we don't need it. You guys might have seen uh, the plan uh, just before uh, we took a break. Um, so yeah, you guys are now... You guys haven't got everything just for the plan yet? Well, I say that, I lie. I, uh, You basically were able to, while um, that essentially the planning phase has taken about a week, the party have been able to... Uh, Kano? Got a bomb. Yeah, let's... I'll describe what, what what happened. Um, we'll go to the fridge first. Kano, uh, you guys were able to like sneak out of Randall's Nook every now and then. Um, after as like the as like the heat on you guys was decreasing, the kitchen went back to being regularly staffed. You did hear every now and then the whispers of the search for Randall, but uh, the kitchen staff being being um being very being fairly loyal to randall they um they weren't so surprised when uh when he when he slinked out of his nook to um to to and bringing that kano with him as well and every now and then the rest of the gang um and kano like during uh this portion you had during like this um one of these times you were able to go and go to the fridge section and while in the fridge section could you do me a few things pulling up my sheet to describe the fridge first it was a very cold room <laughs> obviously the floor is slick with ice there are freezers on uh line wall and this giant like just computer in the center of the room ah uh, yes that was that essentially kind of that uses a bit of magical coding to keep the freezer cold and also run just the this part of the um the, the prison and um <laughs> you you knowing to make your bomb or to make the group's bomb you uh you might have, you might need some parts so um how, how does kano how does kano um i'm gonna put you guys in the i'm gonna put you in the kitchen kano Curious how you wanna how you'd go about the situation. How would our boy Kano wanted to go Kano wanted to go with help specifically because of his help. hands. Yes. With my limited Who dexterity you... in my hands, I'm gonna need some help. Who would you uh, help it was Mirren that was gonna help me build the bomb, right? Build on, yeah. Right on. Let's get Moran into this. I'm gonna yes, thank you, Georgia, for letting me know. This is the wrong music. We're gonna get the planning music going on. Oh. Excuse me. Stop this. Oh, that's the wrong music. Thank you, Georgia. And then on you. That was loud. <laughs> that was louder than I expected it to be. All right. So while I'm in here, I'm going and like with Moran, I'm gonna like tear off a panel from like this computer, and I'm gonna like very difficult like in with much uh, challenge. I'm gonna try to like pull out little bits of it mm. by myself. Roll slight of hand when you do that. <laughs> uh, slight of hand uh, is minus seven. Um... Oh, okay. No. Hey, hey. <laughs> it's still not that great. Okay. Asmoran, you're like just seeing, like you are you want to interject and stop him and like offer help, but he's like, no, 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 don't worry, I got this. And on the main computer um, on, um, hub, you see Kane just like, kind of like, if you like deal dents here and there like dislodge and like pry up pry the 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 piecing of uh or the the chassis and pulling off a main pa like struggling to pull off a main panel you just toss it aside and it just scratches against the ice and it slides across and when you did that you did knock into some of the um the components within as you see like just spark and begin to just fizz here and there um I get a little help here. Yeah, you need, you, you yeah, need help to get in there. I sort of I sort of wriggle over, slipping and sliding a little bit on the ice, but I'm very dexterous. 
And I slide next to Kano, and I take a look. Um, so yeah, with Kano's guidance, he's like he's just pointing out the various different mechan uh, or just like little comp components of them, like the the various chips here and there. You guys both see something very interesting though, amongst all the wiring and near the back in a like little kind of like cage, or like a little glass like cage in the back of, within the computer. You see this icy blue crystal. Uh, with the ripples washing up and down it, and then just like just exuding like frost and cold mist, and Ooh. upon looking at it, you both immediately know these are this is a Shiseki stone. You didn't know there was one inside to the computer, but you know it's there. And oh, they've been cheating! <laughs> they've been cheating. Hey, Kano. Yeah. Should we grab it? Can we? Is it gonna hurt us? I don't know, but... And this might should. be the first time you... I mean, you've been hanging out with her for a week. Miren's actually, like, she's, like, smiling. She's, like, kind of amused by this idea. I don't know. We could... We could try. I think we... I think we can. I think we should. Let's see. I try reaching in first. Go ahead. Roll slight of hand. Again. <laughs> What if, what if you destroy the components? Be careful. What? Oh, uh... <laughs> <laughs> what? As you say that Wait, he no, does. That's all right, my... yeah, okay. Yeah. You see oh. a much like not a, not a lot of the components breaking, but you can see a handful breaking away. Yeah, get it? Cause okay. Yeah, okay. Okay. And like it just sparking and fizzing as he, upon touching the the container that holds the the ice shiseki stone. It doesn't shatter, but like you can like just like pass into it, and like it kind of like not falls onto your hands, uh, but you kind of like knock it, and it just starts rocking in its place as if like it's being oh, dislodged. Shit. Okay, okay, uh, move. And she kind of uh, like elbows grabs. him a little bit out of the way. Uh, <laughs> I'm gonna try to grab it Get with my sleeve. <laughs> I will say you won't need to worry about it, but yeah, when you touch, because you you have hands, you, you, ain't, you ain't gonna worry about this. But you are able to like just reach in and actually a yeah, roll slight hand action. Okay. I would like to um, expel the green spirit that uh, Georgia gave me if I need to. Yes, you can. Oh. <laughs> yeah, alright. No, not like that! As she goes to put her hand in, so, oh, and okay, Kana's like me, like, nope, stop, stop. Um, the second time, it's a bit better. You do get a few sparks here and then a few burns along amongst the uh, the various uh, burns from uh, in the kitchen. Uh, from some of the wires, but you are able to grab onto the stone with your sleeve. And like, uh, where the wires did burn into your skin, you see your sleeves have been cut on some like the spider lily patterns on your um. What is it? What is it called? Is it Harry, that was it. Uh, it um, you can just see just like this, like just being like caught, like immediately like, like the ends have like been frayed, but like they're um. Oh no. They like kind of like they look like they've like cut into some of the spider lilies. Um, oh, I've been singed! Damn oh, it! No. You know, it's, uh, okay. Yeah, like there's been three out of all, like specifically three um, spider lilies have been like just like slashed. Out. Um, when um, it feels like a bad omen. Miranda's not happy about that, but I've got the stone, right? Yeah, you yeah you pick up a stone. It's very frosty in your hands, but you now have a shiseki stone. That like you just feel it just like exude magic when you're holding it, and as soon as you pull oh, it away, you can feel like a lot of the machine kind of like just stops whirring, and you can feel already at your feet the ice begin to melt. I just like look at her, look at like the 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 walls and the ice, and look back. I'm like, uh, let's just grab the rest of the stuff and go. Oh, they're going to be distracted with this for a while, I think. <laughs> <laughs> and uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna grab some stuff. No worries. You just taking the whole computer, or you? Um... I'm gonna grab whatever Kano tells me to grab. Yeah, I'm just gonna gesture to a bunch of stuff that looks explosive. <laughs> no worries. Yeah, you just like yeah, you just start like as as <laughs> Kano's just pointing at you, you're just grabbing just a bunch apart, and like it takes a bit of while. Um, it is a struggle to like pull and pry them free from within. Um, some of it's easy, some of it's hard, but you're able to just like just pick out a lot of the chips and wires. And you know you've just got a 
a uh, a nice horde of um, potential bomb parts. Bomb acquired. Let's go. Let's go build this thing. <laughs> and we go back. Got it. Yeah. Yeah. Let's uh, let's make our escape. Let's go before anybody comes uh, to check out the broken freezer. Yeah. As you're leaving, it is getting very warm in there now. All of a sudden. Oh, and the ice is starting to melt. Um, Randall, uh, like the, the 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 staff that were ignore ignore the the guards. They're not actually. <laughs> oh my god! The staff that are in the kitchen, you just see them working. And they don't they don't even bat an eye as like you guys like leave but with a bunch of stuff. But you just see them start like just like wiping at their brow um, as they're working away. As it's a lot hotter in here now. Oh, I feel bad, but oh. not bad enough. <laughs> And as uh, Moran and Kano get back, you guys are all beginning to start sweating. Is it uh, hot in here or is it just me? Are <laughs> you? What happened? But you uh, see we're them back? They, yeah, you guys are back. You guys are able to go back uh, with, your, with, your, with your bomb parts. Uh, it's just like a little bit hot. It's, it's fine. Uh, we... we, we... This himself. Moran dumps all of the components on the table, including the Shiseki stone, and says, We've got it. Perfect. <laughs> you think you'll be able to make bombs out of this, Kano? Uh, I could direct Moran to build the bomb, yeah. Perfect. Well, we'll get, and like, this is what we'll make that a moment to lose. Yeah. And we'll, we're gonna have like a little time skip as this is happening. Like Low Erin is like watching you guys do something. Like is looking every now and then you'll see a look through the pile for a book to read from. And um, as like the few as the days are passing by, you're all getting to know each other a bit more. You're, you're becoming a lot more friendly if you were to be wanting to be friendly. And it takes a while, but Moran is able, with Kane's guidance is able to build a bomb. And Taya, um, you you I believe you wanted to make the bomb a bit more potent potentially. Yeah, I'd say Teo is probably watching closely, maybe to try to learn, or maybe just trying to like, pass the time or whatever, um, and notice like, oh, if if you if you did this, like if you just move those those wires, it might make it a little bit more deadly. I I don't know if you want it to be more. I I suggest because it would make it a Are better you bomb. Me? Dead? <laughs> no, I'm just saying. <laughs> I, I don't know much about bomb making, but I do know a lot about killing, and that could help. Uh, well, I think you're. Oh, yeah, she's right. She's right about that. Yeah, okay, <laughs> no, I see it. I see it. All right. <laughs> I'm literally holding like a bomb right now. Can we not argue? <laughs> Would you use the uh, second stone in the bomb? I mean, we can. We could probably freeze the wall, and that'll make it more brittle for the explosion. Like we could have a time, a two timers, one to set off the, the stone, freeze the wall, and the second one to blow it up to make it more brittle and cause a bigger. Oh yeah, hold on. I want to use one of my rests to uh, identify the the Shiseki stone. Mm -hmm. Yeah, as like. A, a, or I could just cast identify. I have that spell. <laughs> oh, I did not know, but. Um... Have you yet to hear a non concerning sentence with that here? <laughs> I, I, that's a beautiful out of context message um yeah you yeah like um when you, if you want would you want to have cast identify or would you want to have, uh, just um like a like a tune yourself to it, essentially uh i'll cast identify sure yeah. when um, i'll do a little bit of my i'll do some cleric flexing i'm yeah. not cleric but priestess flexing yeah. on y'all hmm <laughs> But yeah, you as like you're just like you feel like you're pouring into the weave as you're like um holding onto the stone and you just like feel the webbing around it like freeze. Um and like you you know this is just like stone. They're, like they're not like difficult to like connect with. Like it's almost like you as long as like if you just like think about using it, you will use it. Cause, like it, like it's like almost like like it takes a while to get used to if you aren't already a spellcaster. But like if you've like cast before, like it's it's very much like this is just like a second arm for casting. And like this is also like able for like this this is like non non users are able to use this as well as a way to cast. Um The uh, Cone of Cold spell. 
And you can assume this cool. has been what's been uh, keeping the uh, the kitchen and this and the and this area of the the prison cold. As you, it becomes to be swelteringly hot in here. I think we may benefit. I, I um, actually, I'll, I'll have Moran say that in character. Before you do, I think we might oh, actually sorry. go ahead. Sorry. I was say like you will hear every now and then the kitchen staff complaining and like the part of the food, uh, like being like uh, going rancid very fast and like it's like isn't able to hold, and um. And just like the smell is making it like even like difficult to want to be in the kitchen, and some of the smell every now and does waft in to the nook. Oh, God, sorry. I think we may benefit more by just using this stone to cast cone of cold than using it in the bomb. Yeah, I agree. Either way. I think the concept was more of that we would use Cone of Cold on the wall and make the wall weaker in some capacity. I don't know if that is, that's how that would work, but... Oh, sure, yeah, we could try. We freeze things, freeze him, becomes br a brittle, and then, you know, has, has three charges? Oh, uh, we could use it multiple times. All right. We can factor that into the plan, then. <laughs> Remake the field. So we can use one of the charges to make the wall weak, and then blow it up to cause a more shrapnel, more damage to it, and thus probably a bigger hole for us to squeeze through. Every time you guys speak or like talk about a plan, though, Aaron is like just like panic and just like flustering, just becomes more anxious. And then we burn all the books in the library, right? No, please. That's the next part of the plan. <laughs> I Don't mess with her like that. Too. Rocky, you're gonna bring the the bomb in, right? Uh, yeah. yeah. Good. So we could move on to that part of the plan now, if you want, so like on the the tail end with uh, Rocky uh, planting it. All right. All right. Hey, go, go Rocky. Loerna. Hmm. Are you coming? I, I, I don't know. Yeah, we're gonna get you out of here eventually. Yeah, I mean, I would think about it pretty seriously. Now is your best opportunity, for sure. She just looks at you all. Are you escaping with us? You're gonna fight, uh... You're gonna fight the giant mech? Okay. Um... I'll come. She nods, but like she like she takes a big gulp when she does say that. Like she, she's even then she is she isn't fully with herself, but like she is. She's trying to put on a bright face. Hey Randall, um, maybe we shouldn't take her with us. There's a there's the tunnel in the laundry room that might be better as we you know make our more extravagant escape using a bomb. If that oh yeah the sewer is she was are you I've, Aaron what kind of skills do you got like I'm ready to why don't you want to go to the sewer, I... sewer again what was up with that it's a lot of this and that because there might it might be a situation down the reason that that didn't go so well at the end is because it's not really finished right so I mean unless she has some capabilities that we don't know about <laughs> then I don't think that, that way is the best for her to be honest Well, it's up to you. Plus, the sewers are are stinky. No one wants to go into the sewers. You're stinky. I don't want to. Do what? I haven't showered in the last few days. We've been stuck in here, so you guys haven't. It's been very. Be any worse than the smell coming from the kitchen? Yeah, that's true. <laughs> yeah, you guys. are all adding on top of each other. My bo <laughs> is pretty bad. <laughs> um. But yeah, uh, Rocky. Do you want to go and uh, to the common room and plant the bomb? Yeah. Would there be anyone you wanted to take with you, or did someone want to go with him? Um, I don't know if there's anybody specific that I want to take with me, unless anybody else is sneaky. Well, what 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 time is it? Also, we should establish that because yeah, what time would you want it to? What time am I going out? Yeah, what time are you planning the bomb? 
Uh, <laughs> they would have, like, Randall, you're aware that, like, there's curfew where, so, like, there'd be no one around other than the guards that are patrolling, but all security troops are safe. But there's also, if, like, it's a normal day and people are out, they will be just, there will be guards on each of the tubes and there will be. I mean, I'd wait till then, uh, curfew. Are we, I mean, are we sure? Because in a sense, wouldn't the, the, the more people around cause more of a panic and problems for the guards, potentially, or? Is there a delay on the bomb? Or, like, when we place it, it's going to blow up? Because we, ideally, we'd place it at a nicer time and then have it blow up when there's, like, a whole bunch of people around. Or we could try to do it all, like, stealth, and then I would choose the curfew route. I want to well, stay. Like uh, once, once the bomb goes, I think stealth is out of the question. Well, I mean, if it's a time, then I can stealthily put it, and then it's it's and then hide, and then it blows up, and then it's not I'm, a matter. I'm of... not sure I can agree with you. If the bomb goes off, that's a fantastic distraction, isn't it? It's the yeah, perfect time I'm to not... be stealthy. Well, I mean, as long as I'm not, like, by the bomb or near it yeah, looking suspicious. If the bomb goes <laughs> off and we're not around to immediately go in, how are we going to sell the way there if it's going to be surrounded by guards? <laughs> the bomb is on a timer, right? Yes. Okay. So we set it. Or, Rocky, you're setting it, right? Oh, uh, yeah. I mean, Make sure you don't uh, mess this up, Rocky. Okay. Yeah, you set our... the bomb. Our plan hinges on you and only you. No pressure. <laughs> or, uh, uh, okay. You, you set the bomb, Rocky. You'll do so, it just fine. I'm, and I, then I'm just... we'll all, all right. move towards the exit. Laura, now should, should should I should I come with you? Maybe. Um. I mean. I don't know. No, don't you're a prisoner. Why would we want you to come with us? She just looks at you. And like you can Perhaps see, on a, a the glare bit more of her. <laughs> when you like when like she when you say that, uh, Kana, she like she her eyes are like very angry when she when she glares you. But like when Randall like uh, mentioned that, like she's like, oh okay, oh, yeah. Look, I think there's two ways to do it. We can either explode it like immediately and go through, or we can have them uh, have it explode on a timer, let it cool down, and then go through afterwards when no one's looking at the wall. There's no way that they can uh, repair a wall like that in like half a day. We'll be but through uh, guards when everyone turns around. I think guards, guards are going to keep an eye on it, though. Yeah, I do like the idea of using the havoc of the other prisoners, but I also want the stealth when I plant the bomb. I mean, are we? You guys would. Yeah, stealth when you plant the bomb. Be sneaky then. But once it once it goes off, we're running and getting in there. Yeah, I mean. Well, is there a way I could set the timer to be for when, like, after curfew tonight, but then in the morning when everybody's out and about? Yeah, you could have, have a set for that. You could have a set for that if you want to. All right, so you're going to go plant the bomb now, set it for curfew? Or for, I, I'm going to go plant the bomb after curfew when guards are let, a little more scarce and I can kind of be more stealthy. Um, and then, and then during, whenever everybody's more out and about, we'll use the havoc of all these other prisoners uh we could start a riot and then the, escape during well, that well saying the bomb will blow up and i think a riot will start itself to be honest um, that's a good point because all those point. prisoners and all the guards will be trying to wrestle with all these other prisoners that you know the, the the odds are in our favor of being able to sneak uh not necessarily sneak out but run out maybe other prisoners are trying to run out too so we can just kind of camouflage with them you know kinda rocky good. i think that's a good idea let's do so, that all right, I think I think it's best for me to do it alone. Um, but I am I am worried about. I don't have another way to do my my pass without trace until I take a rest. Um, Wait, we've well, been in here been for like a, week. a week. Yeah, you guys have been. <laughs> okay. okay. <laughs> yeah, I missed that part. My bad. Uh, I knew that. <laughs> um, so I could I can go ahead and do that again, huh? Rocky uh, has stayed awake this entire time and accrued six <laughs> levels of exhaustion. <laughs> oh god, he's he's dying. Did anybody else see that like uh, beholder just 
kind of floating around. It's speaking in tongues. It's just kind if of. If you just... click the um, the long rest button, Rocky, you should it should set everything back. But yeah. Cool, um, cool. Cool. I definitely toned out here in that part. My bad. <laughs> uh, um, uh, 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 where's the long rest? There it is. So you, so when are you going uh, to go plant the bomb? Uh, I'm gonna wait a, like maybe like an hour after curfew hits. All right. Uh, just to kind of give myself for sure a little bit of. And is it just it's just Rocky going on his own, right? I think. I mean, does anybody else want to go with me? I'm gonna be doing uh, cast without trace, pass without trace, good lord. Um, so I, I'm not terribly worried about one of us kind of blowing the cover, but I, I'm I not. I'd nominate either Teo or Moran to go. Um, either of us would be all right choice. Teo's a bit stealthier than I am, but I can hold my own. I mean, you also got your, your shadow. Um, That's true. Wait, uh, I wave at it. <laughs> Howdy, uh, Shadow. Uh, it just gives you a nod in the corner. Oh. Yeah, like strange. sentiently. Yeah, weird, <laughs> weird depth kind of thing going on there. Yeah. But uh, <laughs> like it's weird. Like uh, it almost feels like the shadow isn't even on the wall. Like when like the light hits it a certain way, it doesn't look like it's a shadow. It, like it looks like it is its own being. It's also right. weird how the shadows in the room seem to work. It's, it's way too much like you, right yeah, now. You, uh, yeah. I, gotta, I gotta do this. I just, it, it's a very funky shadow for sure. Uh, funkier if, than mine. If you it like moves on its own when Moran turns around. Like mm. stuff like that. I if you need I'm me to babysit to... you, Rocky, I could go with you, but you should right, be able well, to let's... just plant the bomb on your own. If you say it like that, I don't want you to go with me. Um, I'll just do Taya. it on my own. I don't need a babysitter. I'm actually Taya, good. don't be mean to him. All right, I'm going with Rocky. <laughs> yes. Oh, well, okay, never mind. We're criminals. Uh, I'll go ahead and I'll just go ahead Take and uh, yourself. Do pass without trace for us too. All right. Um, you will if you will throw me a stealth check with uh, D10. Stealth check. Uh, I mean plus a ten. Uh, a ten on top of yeah, plus ten. Yeah. <laughs> okay. Okay. I'm pretty good. I forget how to get out of here. Oh. <laughs> it's okay. I know. I uh, made it very weird. Oh, that's a wall. Uh, back. That oh, is okay. the way out. Yeah. Yeah. It is. Oh, okay. Yeah. I thought it was just. <laughs> okay. Uh, Kaz, you... could you please? Uh, could you please bring my echo? I can. Bring me a second. No, Thanks. Yeah. Oh, echo for you. I'm so sorry. You bring my echo as well. Yeah. <laughs> All right. Shadow my Rocky. Shiki just Shadow. put down. <laughs> oh yay, Shiki! Yeah. Sick. Why not? Can you design like uh, Michael, but in that kind of stance? <laughs> I could do my absolute don this with <laughs> a pile of rocks with a sword. Yeah. Ready to fight. All right. Where are we? Where are we playing this again? So yeah, it's very hot when you get into the kitchen. Uh, what do you guys roll with your stealth? Seven, uh, 27 to 16. As you guys are like making your way, yeah, 26. Right? You, when you like just peek through the kitchen, you can see uh, two guards making their way, and then just talking about the heat. And it's it's not that bad. They they like they don't know why everyone's complaining, as they're just like just walking. Fucking doing... fire, Janasi. Yeah. Unbelievable. <laughs> as they're just like walking through. <laughs> Through the canteen on patrol. Like cool with a sword in his mouth. Uh, yeah, the mouth that he has. Uh, they said in the, the chat. Um, all right. <laughs> Going yeah. to the main room, big room, or like. I mean, that's the only way. Yeah, we. Yeah, we have to go to the common room. So let's go. All right. You can We're gonna move guys. along. We're gonna move along the sort of the sneeze guard, crouched low, stealthing. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you guys are able to like make your way in. I'm like, all right. I'm gonna. Oh, I wish I'm I gonna get a fork. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up a fork or like a plate or something mm -hmm. off the table, and I'm gonna throw it as hard as I can, like over here. I'm gonna say with your with your high stealth, roll with advantage. Uh, a slight hand. Okay. Also, you, you mentioned you lost your advantage. Yes, I did. That was a 17. Yeah, 
and if you want to roll again, you can. No, I'm happy with the 17. Okay. All right. I was, I'm, I'm, I'm always like the one that I want to see the nat 20. Yeah, I'm always like, <laughs> I'll take it. Like, let's go. Yeah. You you toss, like grabbing, grabbing a fork, uh, you toss it over. And it just flies right into the other corner of the room and just over by the wall. And then you just hear it clatter on the floor. And the guards just like turn. And you can just see their shadows. Because it's still well lit in here. As like, um... Like even okay, Rocky, go, 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 go. And I, I slide over at the top. Mm -hmm. I'm going to say you're, you guys I wanna, have no trouble. I want to peek, peek, peek in the glass. Do I see anybody? You only see some guards on patrol who are just like walking to the cell blocks. All right. There's nobody in these tubes? Nobody in the tubes. The tubes, like during, during curfew, the tubes are like uh, empty. Because okay. there's no one. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go. These guards are just making their way to the cell blocks. All right. Okay. Um, Follow me, Rocky. Okay. And I duck behind the couch. Mm -hmm. As you guys step in and the door creaks, you do see one of the guards turn and then make their way towards it. Hey, wait a second. I'm going to grab one of the pool cues and I'm going to try to do the same thing. <laughs> <laughs> or not the, one of the pool balls. Go ahead, roll slight hand. Alright, do I still have my advantage? You... Yes, I will say you will, because you know that. Alright, I might use it if I don't roll well. No worries. I'm good! I'm a godly pool player. Where, where you I'm so good at pool that I scored the pool ball into the foosball table. Yeah. <laughs> As it flies, you just... the food, Like, the ball, when the ball hits the foosball table, it breaks. You, there was a lot of force behind that throw. A lot more than you expected. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. And it just oh, no. collapses. And then someone, the guard turns away from the door. This is just like that book. Rocky, do as I say, not as I do. And I'm going to start making my way down <laughs> to right. the, the storage room. Mm -hmm. Alright, let's be careful because of those spider eggs. Mm -hmm. Yeah. And we pop inside. As you guys step in, you notice there's a lot more webs. Ugh. And a mm. lot more eggs in the room. Mm. They've crawled up the wall here. And that cringing sense you feel, Moran, is a lot worse than it was before. But as you feel it, you feel way. your echo go to hold your hand. And just give it a squeeze as it surveys the room for a right. second. Mm. And you hear oh. amongst all the like you hear nothing. Like the guards like are clearly like they're investigating the foosball table. You hear this as you guys are like money obviously, you just hear a sizzle. And a dripping noise in this corner. Roll perception. I didn't like that. What the fuck? Okay. Moran? Well, Rocky, you, you, you are struggling. You, you, it's very dark in here. But Moran, you... You can just about see the glint of something green dripping from the ceiling. And like as you go oh. to look... At what like the source of that dripping was? There's it's the, the ceiling is just covered in webs, creating a very thick sheet of like white webbing that is impossible to see through. But you feel something is oh um, wow that is, is so incredibly beyond, gross. Gross. Something is beyond that walling, and you can hear it scamper. If you just give me a second. All right, I I crouch. I basically like crouch next to Rocky. Rocky. It's very high up in the ceiling when, uh, where it is, but like, yeah. Rocky, we're not alone in here. Oh. I mean, we have each other. <laughs> oh, that's that's very nice, Rocky, actually, but I I didn't mean it like that. Oh, what do you mean then? She points up at the ceiling towards the <gasps> thick webbing. 
um, yeah, and to the the places where the webs might be vibrating from movement. Mm -hmm. Oh, well. Yeah. So... It is very difficult for you to see, Rocky. But when you squint, you can you can see. Is that a what is is that what is that is that a uh, oh oh yeah okay so do you want to focus on the bomb and I'll kill it real dead oh okay um sounds good I guess I mean I'll I'll help what I can do you have anything that you can use at a range I have I have a I have my longbow would you have brought your oh. gear if you wanted to bring your gear you could have. Oh, oh yeah, I did. Yeah, no, I, I, I grabbed did. it whenever Randall threw all of our. Okay. Yeah, yeah. Sorry, I didn't. I didn't oh, yeah, it's cool, it's cool, it's cool. I... You were cool. I will put what you can see on the ceiling, or what you can sense on the ceiling. Ugh. Oh, it's so bad, Kaz. Oh, uh, why? I should have forgotten. <laughs> the uh, there's a trigger warning: <laughs> spiders and eyes. <laughs> Uh, in the art, it straight up looked like the frog from from fucking Looney Tunes for a second. <laughs> <laughs> what the hell? But yeah. Um. What are you doing, uh, Rocky and Moran? As you like, are preparing. Yes, it. It, you can't I'm see. You just hear it. I uh, I have a question. No, far away. How tall are the ceilings in this room? The ceiling is about I'd say fifteen feet up to the webbing and you, you know the ceiling is a bit higher uh you can sense there's an extra five feet above that okay but i can just sort of catch the edge of it with my blind sight yeah okay got it um all right do i have a sense where this is where the uh the yokai is mm -hmm. you can feel the weave pulling cool on its i'm own, gonna shoot on it your webs and its webs you can feel it go ahead i hope this isn't loud is a dirty with, 20. With a fairly uh, roll damage one. I can see that did hit. With a very um, elegant twiff. You, you you try to be as silent as you can with the string. It's There is still a, fit, a bit of a pang, but it isn't as loud as like, like you, you are more conscious about about it more than anything else. But when um when you feel your arrow whistle through the air and pierce through the webbing, you hear this. Mm. As you just see where the arrow hit, a the strange spidering creature that like looks similar to the one that like Kano squashed, but a bit bigger. Like as if like, that one grew, um, and as it, like collapses and falls out of the out of off the ceiling, um, you see it just like turn to white fire, and just like before it hits the ground, it's gone into cinders. Uh, yeah. Can't stand the heat. Get out of the kitchen. No. <laughs> you just hear something like just like as you hear a Moran fire her arrow. <laughs> That's a little quick. <laughs> Um, all right, Rocky, I'll cover you while you set the bomb. All right. Am I set it, should I set it at the back wall? Um, I believe you guys were planning on this wall. Okay. Yeah, I think that's the one that Kano said breaks through. Okay. But, like, watch out. And I go stand right next to him and I look out for eggs that are looking a little too bursty. Yeah, there are a lot of eggs. None of them look bursty, though. Well, they're going to get bursted in a few. Um, <laughs> I, I put the bomb, I guess, around. Oh, I put it up on this crate, I guess. Mm -hmm. This weird plush snake. I have it wrapped around the bomb. I don't know. Yeah. <laughs> against the wall. Yeah, no, you... It's, it's planted. And all right you feel like um like you, you like you feel it's almost like anticlimactic like you know like, it's like something meant to happen or like from that or like it's you you feel confident and you feel ready You're like yeah it's all all going all's going going according to plan hmm. all right how long were we supposed to set the timer for 
for the morning when after everybody's back out. Um, what time? I, I mean, I assume I know when a uh, morning mm-hmm. is like, I, however long that is. I'll yeah. say like an hour after everybody's like out to give time for like people seven being in the hours. rec room and stuff. Yeah. Seven hours. Yeah. Except for seven hours. From now, so. Mm-hmm. Um, should we book it? Should we try to fight the spider? What should you do? What do you want to do, Moran? Oh no, we're good. Let's go. Okay. <laughs> <Do, do, do. laughs> I will poke my head out. The I'll crack open the door a little bit and I'll take a look outside. How's our situation? You just hear, as you begin to open the door, you hear a door creak open from the upper head as you can feel some strings pulling as people make their way through into this room, into the common room. Oh. Okay, I'm going to watch them. What's going on? We have two guards. Two guards are coming into the common room. They're just surveying as they're uh, as they're looking around. And maybe we wait for them to go. As um, you're sorry, wait, yeah. As you're waiting, you can hear. There's 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 a conversation about like the library being an absolute mess and still being like needing to be quarantined off, and that strange like little uh, hidden room they were able to find. And then there's also a bit of gossip about the uh, about the uh, the beatdown the um, the the feral Janasi had to take when he got caught as well as they leave. It feels like their conversation goes on forever though, as like they were like making their their walk away, walk along. Um, All right, let's go, let's go, let's go. You're able to make your way back. Give me a second. Before before you step in, uh, Hanukkah, I'm going to just stop you there for a second. Because you hear the heavy footsteps. Wait, into the, into the tube or into the into cafeteria? Into the, the, the cafeteria. As okay. You can <gasps> hear very heavy footsteps. Oh, shoot. Oh, heavy cool. metallic cool. footsteps. Moran drops like a, well, I mean, like a rock. Uh, <laughs> Rocky drop um, like a Moran. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> uh, to the ground. So uh, she can't be seen through the glass here. That, is that what I think it is? Yeah. Yeah, it really, it, it is. Yeah. No, no. As you um, hear the as like they're like making their as they're surveying the room, you hear them chitter and chirp as they're surveying the canteen, making their way towards the tube you guys are in. Okay, look. All right, Rocky. Here's here's what we're gonna do. You and my Echo are going to make a run for it, and I will distract them. And then I will swap back, and we'll hide. Okay? Oh, I don't... I don't like putting you at risk like that. Rocky, Um, just trust me. Alright. Alright. The Echo steps to you, uh, Rocky. And then just gives you a little nod as they look down at you. Alright, uh, I give like, a nod, a nod think, back. Yeah, I think like even though you're the tallest of the group, this the echo is still taller than you. She'll protect you. You'll be fine. Okay. 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 All right. Now, when I step through, you're going to immediately run and jump over the counter. Got it? All right. Okay. And Moran 
sort of puts a hand on his shoulder. I'll see you in there, okay? See you in there. Great. You got this, Moran. <laughs> I hope so. Hey, remember, uh, if you if you forget what to do, just remember to Moran, you mean, you know? <laughs> okay, Rocky. I, I Shut up. Steps get louder <laughs> and heavier. Just a pun for the road, you know? <laughs> hey! All right, Moran grabs the Shiseki stone out of her pocket. Mm-hmm. All right. Is it time to roll initiative? You will have one turn before you... Like, you'll have surprise. Okay. I burst out of the tube. Mm-hmm. Uh, and I skid to a stop in the center of the canteen, and I am going to cast Cone of Cold. Go ahead. Did you put All it right. in issue, or did you, like, have, um... Or did you just, like, have it, like, the, we're in there? Because, like, that's... I'm gonna just... Um, I'm not sure how to use it on my sheet. That's I'm not okay. seeing it. That's alright. I'll quickly do that now. Thank you. I was trying to think, how could I do it, like, sooner? Technical <laughs> difficulties, everybody. Hold it on. <laughs> <laughs> the DC will be pretty much, uh, just, like, the very, like, a base, uh, 12. Uh, if you aren't already a spellcaster. Or have a spellcasting DC. Um... Yeah, if you want to. Uh, um, wisdom is my spellcasting ability for my Kirinborn no hidden it. eye. You use your wisdom. Okay. You are all set. Oh shit! All right. And Cone of Cold is a fifth level oh. evocation. I can cast it at fifth level. That's how it works. You can. Okay. And I try to catch both of them in the cone. Mm hmm. And what's the size of it? Sixty foot cone. Oh. Um, yeah, it's a 60 foot count. Could you just. I could do this. Give me a second. Is it like the whole. Is it like. Is it meant to be like. Um, I'm it's not sure really how to do cones like, in yeah, Roll20. It's a really. Oh, it's on you. So you'd. Ha I. You would be able to get close if you wanted to. But it would be like. Um, emanating from you. Like if I do this. This is how big the cone Yeah, is. okay. Uh, that was okay. one, two, that was 10 feet of movement, 15, 20, 35, uh, 25, 30. I think I'd stand, like, here and try to catch both of them. That's how big it would be. Uh, that is a circle, not a cone. Moment. But yeah. Oh, yeah, shit, no, you're right. You're God, right. Sorry, you sorry. sorry, here I was thinking. Hey, it's all good, it's all good. I'm just, oh, yeah, fucking bastards. <laughs> Geometry is really hard. As bad as... No worries. Yeah, for, I for will... context, like, in the in the little hidey hole right now, you just would literally just see Randall and Kano playing that game where they like try to shoot like pieces of paper between each other's hands. Paper I'm having kid. a very hard time with that. <laughs> yeah, he is. I think I think the perfect game to win at. Hey, I'll just change the music for a second. Uh, no, Truly just... a mastermind. Oh. <laughs> at that point, it's just bullying. <laughs> That's what being a mastermind is, people. You say I'm just gonna change music, and then I will describe. So I walk in and I blast them. Yeah, <laughs> you, start you just slide in, and as you're sliding in, you feel you begin smoking. I'm terrified. Well, yeah, you you're, 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 you begin wisping up and like. Although you can feel Hanako off behind you with Rocky, you feel this wisp off into another str piece of Hanako for a second, and she holds onto the stone with you. As you, when you raise it, and like, uh, like on the, um, as like you gain, like the, like you come to a halt in your momentum as a, as you slide in, just this beam of ice just. Just um, beam them. Yeah, beams them. I, I was trying to find what's the what's the what's a really cool word for that. I can't find it. But like, it, like there's just like With a force ice. of a force of like snow and ice and frost just pushes off, and you see Hanako is like skating in the in the in the ice as this is happening. They will need to roll a. It's pretty it, cool. Constitution. Yep. Yeah, it's a con save. They fail. Roll me eighty six. As. Uh. Oh. I I did actually. I oh, did, did forty so damage. Oh my fucking god! 
And like <laughs> they go to like um as they like just I'm so happy we didn't use the Shiseki stone in the bomb. Yeah. As like as you um see them begin to brace themselves, Hanako just like s skates through on your uh, on the like beam that you've just made with the Shiseki stone. And you just see her like just like as she's like skating around, you see her just like elegantly move and just like almost like as if like she's carrying the spell that you've cast and moving it through them. And you just see the um the adaptive combat units just like as they begin to brace themselves, they hold on and try to like push in on on the, um, on the spell. But like you just see them begin to like just start forming frost and icicles and just like freeze into place. And They're frozen in place. Um, and you can I, just... I turn back to Rocky like, oh, I guess it worked. Oh, uh, go! Thank you for, right. uh, for, the, for the sub. Be time. I go. Mm. Ooh, I bolt over here. Do uh, are we in still initiative? Or you are, are we going uh, to like be the. Okay. I would say even like with the spell, the spell is just as elegant as Moran is. And uh, Hanako, it is almost silent. Just the, the just the formation of the sounds of ice are the only noise that is made. As you just see, the tension and the apprehension you feel isn't. It it just drops for a second as like you realize they're frozen place and they cannot move. And you just see them begin to like, as you are walking past them, you see in like various parts of their body. Uh, you can see the glass on their helmets begin to start cracking under the pressure. And you can just see, like, there's in various exhausts on their armor, white fire forming and just glitching away. Whoa. White fire? White fire. Whoa! Like, like, wait, wait, wait. like yokai white fire? You could say that. Moran looks yokai. really scared. Wait, wait, wait. Yo Kai say that. Get it? Cause like you can say no. you ka Yo no. Kai and no. hey. No. That's, that's <laughs> you, Jake, Try again another time. Uh, when you go to say that you feel this echo even uh, go to hold your shoulder and just like shake its head at you. <laughs> uh, three guards run up to me, stab me, Rocky dies. Rocky kicks you in the nuts. <laughs> and that concludes Jailhouse Rocky, everyone. Oh, it was so it was nice playing with you all. Fun. I had a blast. I didn't have a, a lick of fun. I'll be honest. <laughs> <laughs> I'm gonna uh, put on a different uh, music. Um, yeah. Um, you have the bomb planted now, and you guys are able to um. To do your own thing, uh, Guys, I mean, you can do the next next portion of the plan. Uh, you would... I hate to brag about myself, but uh, I would say that uh, our skills for that part of the plan were the bomb. <clears throat> oh, it's fine. Never mind. <laughs> I think the next part of the plan is just wait until the bomb goes off and then run to the hole, right? Or or shall we wait in the common room? I think well, being in the common room would probably be the best idea. Yeah, for when everyone wakes up, bomb goes off, riot ensues, we get the hell out of there. I thought you meant like go in the common room now. I was like, absolutely, what? The right no. now. <laughs> Excuse me. I, I was like, I knew your hands were made out of gold, but I know your brain was too, you know? <laughs> oh, ouch. Moran, I, uh, I know that Rocky's just going to make jokes about it, but how did that actually go for you? I think it went well. Yeah, I also okay. think it went well. Wow, okay. Well, never mind. Then. I guess you guys are on the same page. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I mean, we used the Shiseki stone to just, like, I don't even know how I would describe it, turn two of the ACUs into popsicles. It was intense. Yeah. Um... So it's a good thing that Rocky had a, hel had a helping hand, is what I'm hearing. <laughs> Yeah, it was nice to have someone there to help me. I will say there was a funky spider in the bomb room. Um, I shot now, I don't know. Yeah, I mean, it, it's gone now. I just wanted to relay that there was a funky spider, and, you know, it'll probably be more. I mean, maybe it'll blow up or something, but... Did you kill it? We'll get rid of yeah. it. Don't worry. Right? Yeah, we have been, a bomb. It's been shot. Moran's got it. Okay. I, I know. I heard that bow. It was really loud. 
Shut the yeah, fuck yeah, up. Get that ball all the way forward. <laughs> Shut the fuck up with that. <laughs> I'm, I'm just saying, man. Like I don't I, like I knew Georgia was gonna say something. She is in her name. You guys. <laughs> no, the new model of bows. I that didn't they even came mean out it was that loud. Was not as good. I just meant I like. Mean, like. I'm just saying when it's silent, completely silent. It's like and it's the it only was... noise in the entire fucking room. You're gonna you're gonna hear it. You're gonna hear it. it was just quiet because uh, because the because because the loud wang 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 just sounded out across the entire Kasakawa <laughs> Island. Oh my uh, God. Moran put oh, a silencer yeah, yeah, yeah. on it, so it's all good. <laughs> <laughs> oh God. What did you just say? Ram put a silencer on it, so it's all good. <laughs> it's just a rubber Got band bow. A rubber band bow, yeah. <laughs> I believe it's a rubber neck Got bow. that imported bow rubber string bow. from Isoto. Wait, all right. Um, what we're going to do is... Um, so you guys, is, are you uh, like, are you heading to the common room before, just before it's about to blow, or what's what's what, what's the plan? Uh, like right before it's about to blow in seven hours, we're gonna be in the common room. Yeah. Yep. Yep. That's, say, sounds say good again, with sorry. me. I zoned out. So it's gonna blow in seven hours, right when people are waking up. So when people wake up, we make our way quickly to the common room. It blows up. Fight ensues. We get the hell out of here. I will add, there is the security tube. How are you guys getting through that? Yeah. I'm curious. Or like, well, like, well. Brute force. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, let's. All right. Okay. Brute okay. force, yeah. Secretly. No, Cash, oh, no. Okay, hold on. Right. Before, we, before we say anything crazy, hold on, wait a minute. What if. It's not that crazy out right now, right? They're just doing patrols. We go out there a little bit before and then go to and the library we, and hide. I think, yeah, I mean, hide that, in the library. I mean, the bookcase is kind of destroyed. I destroyed two of those now. We oh, could yeah. literally hide under the bookshelf. Rocky, just I will say, you guys okay. have noticed there like is like signs saying like like there, there's like tape over the uh, the library and the door is shut when you guys were like running past that. Oh no! Yeah, there was oh, tape do uh, door shut. Uh, I know we aren't we haven't been following any rules so far, but it says caution on that tape, so I don't think we'll go through that. I'll be honest with you. What if I cross out the caution? Would you cross it then? Uh probably. You know, I. All right. <laughs> I'll bring a sharpie. There is a sharpie. But yeah, I don't know if that door is a very. Uh, Fantasy sharpie. <laughs> it might be a sharp. Well, I think we could uh, go there now and hide out for the next <laughs> seven hours or something, right? Go play pool for seven hours with guards. Yeah, let's go hide out in, in Low Arena's hideout. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Why not? But. but... Nice butt, yeah, butt I don't spot know always coming in clutch. Butt spot could have changed the first word, but instead <laughs> changed Kaz. <laughs> wow. Yeah. Um, yeah. Well, it chose the most applicable word to be a butt, and I think it chose the perfect one, so. <laughs> <laughs> I love you. But, right. but those are synonyms, so it's like, what's the point, you know? It's true. <laughs> So yeah, all right. That's, Sorry. Um, Sorry. No, no, it's okay. It's okay. Sorry, Kat. It's okay. So when are you, when are you heading to, um, like, is it just a few hours before? <laughs> Was that what you say? A few hours before a few minutes and head we, to the library? I think, honestly, we should leave right now in that case. Let's get the hell like, out I go. And go to that other nook right now. All right. All right. I will say I don't have any more paths without Trace. Uh, only Moran and I got it before, so. Um, yeah. Oh, no. So... Just be careful. Yeah, yeah. Why are these that, guards still here? Like, like, with or without, those guards are careful. That, when you kind of like come out of the nook and you you see them immediately, you see these a just like everything I'm peeking around the corner quietly. Everything that is. Hey. Sorry, go on. Oh, give me a second. I was just wondering before we leave, can I take some cans out of this vending machine? Yeah. Cool. Oh, I've got a few cans like... in my inventory now. What kind of cans? Guess oh, you good. can. <laughs> Thank you. We, we really did a perfect group for of like a rocky centric thing, just because yeah. a bunch of pun people. <laughs> I don't know that what can. Look, that can pun was so dumb. What the hell? All right, what you see there is. Uh, I'm not landing today. Huh? Zona cold. <laughs> You're not landing today. Um, you see Moran's um, zona cold, and you can Wonderful. see like the. 
the two go uh, the robot guards out there are frozen solid inside of it. Like permanently? Yeah. Like it's like the the floor there is like frosted over, and like glistening like with, uh, ice crystals, and those have been frozen in place as well as like as if they're ready to brace or something. You don't know what's caused it though, because like Moran, I don't think has talked about it. that. She did that exactly. What the fuck? Yeah, I said I turned him into popsicles. Oh, yeah, you did this. Should be perfectly clear. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't know what there was to miss there. Sorry, my mistake. I was on this thing. No, it's all. No, no, no. I'm <laughs> saying that to the to, to these guys, not to you. It's all good. Oh no, I made Laura so tiny for a second. She's coming. She's very like <laughs> nervous as she's like following. She she's, like, shrinks you. All right, let's go. I'm gonna we'll put Low Arena in our pocket. Walk this way back to where the mess is. No, Aaron, no, what's happening? Aaron in your pocket. <laughs> Hold her up and put her in her pocket. Aaron to go. Mm. Yeah, you guys just see that, like, not half a but it's like the the result of Moran's um, ice capades. We could uh, probably uh, just uh, <laughs> put all the food by, uh, like, on those people to maybe keep it cold with all the heat going around. I don't think I much care for the food condition right now. <laughs> it was it was more just a joke. I mean, mm -hmm. nah, it's, it's fine. Let's it's uh, let, hey. let's let's go. Let's go. I'm just it's fine. You guys <laughs> like okay. real. I was like, <laughs> Rocky's just trying to make jokes, and everyone is like, not not in the mood for a moment. You guys just rush into the library, and it's fairly quiet. Like the, as like you just step in, you hear like the door just shut behind. Um, over here, as if the patrol that was leaving has just gone. And make and you make your way to the library, and Loana hops in very anxiously, and like she instinctively goes to like climb into the nook. I haven't put her down, but like she's there. She's there. She's in the nook. It's like home for her. Are we like hiding in the nook, or are we are we gonna? What are we doing? Uh, well, I think we could keep the nook open as an option, but. We could probably just hide in here with all of the rubble being on the ground yeah, and whatnot. Like they've, all right. the guards have cleaned up what they can, and they've gotten rid of most of the stuff. But like, there's just an obvious hole in the nook. Um, and like, as you guys are like waiting, nothing happens. Like you can hear as like the curfew is like up, you can hear the alarms go off. Like where um, curfews ended, you do hear there is like some of the guards. Um, as like they're passing through the door, some gossip about from the guards talking about like the frozen ACU units, and they're like curious like where where could this ice have come from? That's like no one. Those that like can cast spells like that like are chained up, um, and like as this is happening and like there's like people pouring in, you hear a sudden fight between a few uh, prisoners, which is a cough and a tap here. Oh. Well, hold on. Hold on. Panic for a second. Um, oh, sorry. I thought I was muted. <laughs> no, it's, <laughs> it's okay. Scared me. Um, you, Sam, uh, your prison, uh, not uh, Sammy's uh, prison uh, redemption goes off, and you can hear a fight happening over at the foosball table, and they're like arguing about. You could hear them like making a commotion about like the foos table being broken, okay. and as like they're arguing, and some guards come to break it up. You hear a very sudden. Alright, it's not very sudden because like I'm not fucking fast, am I? We hear this. <laughs> oh. oh my god! That's a... Is that the explosion? That's your explosion. Oh my god, Moran, that was amazing. Good job. Oh. I'm making the bomb. I mean. Uh, uh thanks. That was really loud. Let's go. Let's go. Are we, oh, Wait, okay, what was go. that? What happened? Never know first, never it, know it blew up. We did it. Huh? We blew up, we we, we go. We blew up the bomb. Roll go, 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 go. I'm going to ask you guys to roll it initially. My ears are stopped up. Roll what? We're rolling so initiative. Roll, roll initiative one more time. This is me. Like, you'll have a group initiative uh, that will fall on the highest uh, dexterity. Oh, fuck yeah. Ugh. Finally, I did get a five. <laughs> I was like so proud of my 16 for a second, and then immediately the 24 and a 22 <laughs> followed. I was like, right. 18 before you. Oh, yeah. 16, worry, but you're still man, second last. 
as like you hear these folks, you see the the fight. The ones that were fighting have dropped to the ground. There's there's a bunch of people in common. They're all just on the ground, panicked. These guards turn uh, towards the explosion and then see you guys come out of the out of that room, and then they turn to you. It is Moran. You everyone's on Moran's group initiative. You have like you will have one turn before shit hits the fan. Um, just, just to be clear, we're all gonna book it, right? Uh, yeah. Oh, we're just yeah, we just go. left the library, so we gotta book it, right? Alright. <laughs> right, we're out of here, man. I, I, we're killing I, I, you. This I, is no longer your story. <laughs> I wanna imagine, like, he, like, told Moran, or right, say this, please. I need it. <laughs> <laughs> I kill Cass. I need a win. Kill, uh, kill, uh, I need Rocky. a win. I need uh, a win. I just, <laughs> I mean, I would we would have no problem cleaning up these two guards, except the foul. Oh, there's a lot actually on the other side of the tubes. Yeah, like this. Let's go. All you, right. You can see the security. There's like there's some guards over. You can hear this door open as some security guards come through that as well. Six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve. I just make a, a clean break for the storage room, and I yell, "Come on!" We're going. Yeah, you guys. If you guys all want, like, you <laughs> seen everyone's arrows. <laughs> <laughs> Clean break to the store. I can't actually see where the, where it is. I'm just I'm guessing right now. Am I am I in the right area? Yeah, yeah. A left, okay. like as far as, that's as far right. as I can go with the match. <laughs> as like you guys like. And I don't like it. As Randall, as you, uh, they they see you leave the library. Yeah, get here, kind of now, and get some ACUs. You hear them shout. And then I flip them off about like the explosion, and I'm gonna pull you as well, Kano. Like I'll, you guys are able to make your way over there, as you see them all begin to start charging towards you. And oh you, fuck! You see in here, this is there's a mess. There is, it's a mess of like just all the storage stuff broken. In up to here, all the eggs are gone. All of them. Oh good. As you can hear. Oh. Holy fuck, that was diabolical! <laughs> but you say that, you can hear nice. on the ceiling <laughs> some things, some things, not just one thing, some things spidering. And you can hear more dripping noises all around you. What you can see over here is a hole. As, and you can see within, inside, is like, it's like the the wall is very thick, but on the other side, you can see there's like, it's like a tube. Well, not a tube, sorry. A like. A um, tube. Like a container, and like this has blown through the container into what looks like a little lab room. This is not the music. <laughs> this. I think this is. What are you talking about? Any spider riders here, guys? Oh my god. <laughs> oh no. Drake, you here? <laughs> Drake, with his famous song, Calling All Spider Riders? Good song, it's a good song. Fucking. Mandela effect for sure is what that was. <laughs> but yeah, you you see you see their explosion in in there and onto the other side, and like you guys are you got like you guys can hear the footsteps of the guards rushing towards you guys, and you can just see all around you on the ceiling. Or those with dark vision, you guys can see and feel. Uh, those that don't have dark vision, you just see green liquid dripping. From the ceiling, from a Gatorade, a, sweet. a handful of things. Drink it. <laughs> what the fuck? Oh, oh. oh bad. That was not. I don't like that. What? That's a Tower Mountain Dew, people. What are you talking about? Hey guys, I think we oh should just my. stay in prison. Just I don't run. think we need to escape. We I don't think. You want to? We give up. We give up. Yeah, we're I think we should just. Cell blocks. Yeah, we're going back. yeah, you know what? I think we should just go back. Be I'm nice gonna prisoners. apologize be personally to Hira Hikana. I was wrong. I'm going to allow. I literally don't uh, even see what you're talking about. I'm going to allow Sunny to turn me fully to gold. Yeah, it's, it's, yeah it's, it's, it is point. what it is. <laughs> oh my god! Get out of here! <laughs> I love his reaction. The world's naughty spot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> um. We gotta kill this thing, right? You know, no, they are no, looking at you. They are like. Let's get the hell out of here. Use as like they are making their way from the explosion, you see them trying to like crawl to the door. 
Oh, perfect. We'll use this uh, to the guards go. as we get the hell over. Yeah, it. let him go. Let him go. You're right. Let them fight. Moran, what would you like to do? We're going, right? Okay, let's go. Uh, one, two, three, four. Mm -hmm. And I'll go through the tunnel. As you step through the tunnel, oh something feels God. very wrong. As, as soon as you step through, you can see some ACUs. As if Air like, conditioning units. <laughs> oh, wow. ACUs in the room with you. But you the damage that your blast had created wasn't just to like, the walls. You can see around the room a bunch of um, machinery and like tubes containing these strange, horrific <laughs> humanoid creatures. Uh, like the spider in, in the energies they give off. And but what like the also fuck? not. Kaz! What the hell? Uh Moran walks into this room and as you, and you guys can hear her like through the tube. Like she actually just like screams. <laughs> and like, that's like, that's like, the dream. <laughs> as you scream, the ACU turns to you. Which in that moment, like as they no, accept no, no, to no, try no. and like No don't worry. Because I didn't explain what exactly was happening. Because not No, I'm that's Moran, not yeah. me. As you're as you're panicking, you can just see there's just hordes of yogurt that like have like that were within these tubes that like had like burst out or like trying to like clamber over and like attack the um the ACU uh, that are like in the in the room and just like start clobbering at them and just oh, wow. smashing them. And as that's happening, like you can see on the floor there are other yokai that have like just like collapsed. And those that are collapsed, some of them are just covered in cybernetics. Um, the ones that aren't covered in cybernetics have glitched away and like just like turned to white fire. But those that are still with cybernetics are still just there, but like glitching very slowly. Just shattered I pieces. thought the prison labor was bad enough, you know. And now they're 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 robotizing yokai. <sighs> Robots in disguise. You guys will want to step in. Yeah. Because like yeah, I'll, yeah. Let, I'll let you guys step in as as this is Boink. all happening. Oh, is that everyone? No help, I'm uh, stuck. <laughs> that was my echo. <laughs> all right, so you, so you guys. Are. By the way, Georgia, I agree. I very much agree. Such a funny comment. <laughs> but as I'm it's so true. Like, like, that's a call and disrespect me. What the fuck? <laughs> so true, bestie. So true. As... What the fuck? These things look so cool, Kaz. Thank you. Amongst all of these like yokai that are just clobbering at the ACU, they are clearly just zoned in on this, on these. You can see in this one here, there is a humanoid man just floating. Um, Taya, you recognize him immediately as your bounty, Sanyi. <gasps> That's on you. Oh in there? shit! Yeah, that's the that's the big man. Wait, uh, a second. Like, point and show everyone. I'm like, yeah, that's that's on you. We I don't want to be here. Just floating within the tube. And as you guys just step in. Damn those legs. He has a lot of legs. I'm gonna just show chat what he looks like. You 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 guys see? Yeah, this like. Would be humanoid, except for just the chest piece that is just like a mess of machinery. Just suspended within this shoe. Just flowing with a few wires connected to him. And as you guys are stepping in and like, with like this, like, with everything that's happening right now, you guys are kind of like able to use this as a distraction, as your Royal Rumble, if you will, that uh, Sam redeemed. You guys are would have a chance to run away. Into the into. Right. Hey, it kind of hesitates because this would be a great opportunity to try no, to won't. like <laughs> cash in her bounty. Mm -hmm. I think this uh, is the worst opportunity. What do you guys well, no, think Sammy about? Looks defenseless. What do you guys think about blasting this room with a cone of cold as we leave it? I totally agree. I am fine with that. Let's run. But, I mean, I don't know, honestly, because we might want to let these things kill the other things and let them be more- We're going to kill them all, buddy. We're all going to kill them all. Let's go. Mm -hmm. All right. 
Go ahead. Uh, it probably won't stop all of them. It'll just slow them down. Well, that's Hopefully. good enough. Let's go, let's go, let's go. When, Make sure uh, you focus right in the middle. When you guys... Yeah, you guys can... Oh, yeah, that reminds me. You guys have the weird dynamic one. The, like, doors are, like, automatic, and they just slide open as you guys are able to, like, yeah. make make into the hallway. Um, we just free move it right now? Yeah, yeah you guys can free move uh, into the hallway here. Um, when, Moran, you pull out the Shiseki stone again, you Hanako is beside you once more, and you see you just go to hold your, uh, your cheek for a moment, and then back onto the stone. And when you are about to activate uh, or use the the, the corner cold as you amongst all the, the the giant hulking oni smashing at the acus the suiko and the shibatan and even a new just walloping on the uh the robotic yokai you can see the um let me just do this you see what does that monkey thing that is a new way yokai looks cool thank you i know you'd like that one you see I knew he'd like it too. <laughs> you see Sonny open his eyes from within his tube, and you just see a glittering gold look back at you, and you freeze as soon as the spell consumes the room. Roll damage. All right, they have to make a con save. I don't know if he can move. Mm -hmm. He cannot. I'm going to pull you guys out of the room. Isn't he in like a glass tube though? He is inside a glass tube. As you hear, as you cast it, the door shuts. As soon as the spell like drops and you can just hear the room within freezing over, glass shattering from the, um, the temperature rise and just, and you can see the door begin to freeze over as well. As you can hear, would be too easy if that killed him. Yeah, Bastard. I don't think so. Good, good try though. You can hear the whirring Let's of go. machinery. Let's just go. Go on ahead. Go. All right. Where are we Which going, Kano? Which way is the core battery? Are we going to the core battery, or are we going to the elevator? The I elevator. thought we needed the core battery or something, didn't we? Nope. That, that was an okay. old plan. We're going this way. Just the elevator, then. I believe it's so, right? Very loud here. Yeah, sorry. Sorry, I'm telling the music. What did you say? What? You can, you can sorry, it's all, really loud here. What did you say? All the noises around you. And the faint footsteps of metal. Was, was it in Was it in this room, or was it down below yeah. further? Behind you, you can... Yeah, it's in that room. I'm going to just do this. It's in here. I just want to peek around the corner. Oh my god. You will be allowed to. Just give me a second. And Kano, you okay. remember this is the factory floor. This is the main factory area. And you are able to... Just give me a second. I'm going to turn some noises down. And you can hear the footsteps following you. But then they, they stop when I find them. And you hear them turn down a corridor. A different corridor. Uh, Randall, you would have seen peeking around the corner. You see, you would have seen Sunny shaking off uh, the frost. We gotta get the elevator. Turn to you, and then walk the other way. That's the elevator down here. Give me a second. This thing, yeah, the central pad is the giant elevator. Oh, the central pad. Yeah. Uh. And where's uh, the button to activate it? It would be over here. And they're like all the 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 I operation see. for the machines are on the side. As like yeah, like you when everyone else that has a meeting in the factory, you guys can see just this room full of just strange machinery, weird cranes and wires and pipes hanging above the ceiling for like moving heavy objects. As you can see, just giant parts of what you can assume war forged just everywhere parts bigger than all of you put together some for like smaller pieces and you can just see like there's just like um just a mess essentially of like strange machinery that you do not understand 
and <clears throat> all right i guess everyone on the elevator for for those interested son you just uh just escaped out of that room oh fuck oh, damn. you see you see my face just get like very scared all of a sudden as we enter this room mm -hmm. freezing we've him got this not let's go well it, maybe we slowed him down a little as you right, what do we need to do, Cannon? Alright, everyone on the elevator, I'll activate the... I'll try to activate the buttons here. Roll... Well, you don't need to roll. Because as soon as you go to press any of the buttons, all the power in the room goes out. <gasps> what? Then, and then emergency lighting turns on. And you just hit What it. happened? Kano, what did you press? You heard the door... I didn't press anything yet. The door you guys entered in on, shut. Um, as you can see, like, you can hear some of the machines hissing and whirring, and you can just see this door here begin to stop melting. Everybody take cover. And, uh, we should scatter. Mm -hmm. What, what, well, is this a box right? What is this? Is this a what? Give me a second. This is this a box? Yeah. That's a, that's a big. Yeah, that's a that's a box. I'm jumping in. Yeah, like there's like a crane. Like those look like like a pile of cardboard boxes on top of each other. Is this somewhere I can hide behind? I guess. Yeah. So yeah, you could if you want a world stealth for me. I'm not. I, mean, I don't think we're. Well, I don't think we're cover. hiding. I think we're just taking cover. Uh, yeah. Oh, I mean, I'm just trying to. No worries. I'm just, is this I'm something I can take cover? I'm hiding. I'm, I'm making sure that I'm in hey, uh, up front and center, ready to fuck this guy up. <laughs> 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 okay, well, I'm gonna just hide or like you know take cover behind this. Yeah. As the door begins to start melting, and you can just see it glitters gold as it's burning, Wreck. burning away. You can just see. You can see Sanyi's face through as like the 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 door just starts melting, like just create a hole for him to step through. Here's Sanyi. And <laughs> as like he enters extremely graceful. And you hear his heels clack against the metal floor and he's just turns around surveys the room but like his eyes um, like stop and uh tell you for a moment it's not the door i thought he'd come through <laughs> <laughs> horrifying he just looks huh. down he towers <laughs> he's clearly six he's about six foot seven and he just with uh he just like wafts his sleeves and just like shakes off any bit of like um melted debris off of him hey big man nice to see you again <laughs> i thought i was uh, uh... roll initiative can i make the first move when he just comes in and they like, punch him with uh with uh <laughs> the sun punch are we are we rolling yeah are, are we rolling or okay i will allow you i'll do that give me a second let me just get uh turn order going when it wants to give it to me there, there you are are we re-rolling in a shift? Well, keep the old one, sorry. Mom's sick. I feel like we were, yeah. I made you guys roll it early and it was like, no point. Oh, I had shift? a 24 earlier. No worries. Oops. There's the radiant sun bolts. Does it hit? I hate how I do this where like, it's like, <laughs> like I build up all this tension and then like, the, like the initiative to part takes like so much of the time, like, because I'm just being stupid. No, oh I'm my later. god, are you That's fucking kidding me? <laughs> of course. <laughs> As you, Kano, go, be, are about to uh, just fire some bomb, he moves his gaze from, um, from Taya to you. And, and as he does that, I just raise my fist like, you wanna fight me, buddy? I think I will. As you feel your arms begin to start burning. As you feel where <gasps> your arms from where like you is flesh, you feel it begin to sear.
How are you? As you feel the metal just begin to heat up Not fair. to a scorching temperature. Roll a contact, please. It isn't nice. It shouldn't be 19. Why is it 19? Not fair. Can't save? Can't save, yeah. Take 13 damage. Alright. As. Oh, you read it? Yeah. And he just gives you a little nod. And then you just. He looks down at Taya. And then he just goes to like smack her with uh, the side of his dagger. As you take five bludgeoning damage, as you just feel his blade just thwack into the side of you. It is now. Whose turn is next in the order? I can't see. <laughs> Taya. Yeah, your turn, Taya. You can you can deal. Is it? I rolled a an eight. Oh no, this is from like the previous uh, initiative order. Sorry, my mistake. Like I, I'm keeping that order. Oh okay. Um, um, in the dark, we have what, what does that do? Wait, then didn't Moran have a point four? She said. Did she? Oh, well, I was going off the yeah, initiative from last from pre previously though. Which yeah, was yeah. Like, twenty two. Uh, I Oh no! You, no, I, I had a sorry. twenty-four. Sorry, sorry. I, I didn't. So would have been, it would be Moran right now. Sorry, I don't realize it doesn't reset. Yep, Moran is your turn. As you see, you feel Hanako um, in your shadow, and like she's like just mimicking your movements in this moment. Yeah, but in the darkness of the emergency lighting, she's clearer than ever. Mm. She. Wi you know, just wisps over to, to Kano to get within five feet of both him and Rocky. Um, and then I am going to pop out of my full cover, which I hope I had, and do I have line of sight on Sanyi, or is this blocking my way? That would be half of it. Alright. Um, if I moved here, would I have full line of sight? Where are you, sorry? 10, 15, 20. I take a shot at him with my longbow. Go ahead. I didn't mean to press that. Nice. That scared me. <laughs> Does a 16 hit? As you fire the arrow, you, it hits one of the sleeves of his uh, clothing, and you hear the distinct clang of metal as it bounces up, as the fabric just wafts in the air, or wafts in his movements. Damn. It's as if like you just Extra it attack. Go ahead. Right, it's... Does that hit? Okay. Anywhere particularly you wanted to aim? Uh, maybe his leg. When you do hit his leg, he, he buckles. He, he just grumbles. And you can hear uh, Taya a whirring coming from the leg that just had a arrow pierce into it. And you can just see where it scratches at the fabric. You can see within a few, um, few bits of, um, what's it called, machinery. Anything else? Hey, you know, which button? Is, uh, is it still turned off? There's emergency power in there. Oh, there's emergency power? Um, I, 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 I don't know. I have to look at it. Damn. All right, um, then I'm going to... I'm going to action surge. Go ahead. Does that hit? That does. 12 piercing. Same in the leg. I get my extra attack. Um, yeah, anywhere I can hit him, yeah. Mm -hmm. he buckles I'm just trying to buckle him deep, so he yeah, can't he kill Taya. deeper in. And he gets up to eye level of Taya. And when you just see his gold eyes staring into your into the hollows of your mask. That hits. Does my fourth shot hit? It hits? Yep. Okay. Alright. Uh, that's all I can do, so I'm gonna move uh, five feet back towards the elevator, and that's my turn. Mm -hmm. As you... As 
as you try oh, to run. Oh, Kaz, away, I'm you... not sure if you saw. Did you see I that? Did see, um... I did see. Yeah. I'm waiting, oh, okay, I'm waiting for Sam to roll his D8. Cool. Then I will add that on to, to the arrow. Uh, Taya, it's your turn, though, I believe now. Okay. Wait, where here? is the elevator? The elevator is the central, the like, in the central area. Okay. So I'm going to move back first. Just onto the ah. elevator. Two, three, four. And I think in doing so, he will get I... a on you. Actually, no, I, I'd say he's focused on my right now. Go on. Uh, I, I just wanted to... I think Taya would have noticed uh, the echo because it's a lot clearer. Mm -hmm. uh, she kind of like hesitates for a second and she goes, Hanako, is, is that you? They and then kind of like snaps back into um, a fighting mode mm -hmm. and is going to send a scorching ray oh. over towards Sunny. Or I guess, yeah. yeah. If you want to roll that for me, uh, six. Oh. And How does this work? <laughs> you'd be able to uh, use a extra arrow attack, like a longbow attack, and that would have a elemental damage applied to it, which I'm gonna pull up. Wait, I'm confused. So you get a free uh, longbow attack on top of your normal scorching ray, like that's through okay. the redemption. Okay. Uh, go back to my core. Hit this. Oh. <laughs> I don't know if that hits me. Oh no, it doesn't, yeah. <laughs> no, yeah, that's fair. In the moment of like seeing Hanako and like when you see her, she begins Yeah, she's very clear. She looks less like smoke and looks elven. And you can see you're just glittering just slightly uh, before she turns back to oh like in the light like she just like goes from like gold to black to uh, elven. And um it takes you by surprise completely, and you just like, can't seem to pull up. Oh, is that another one? I don't know, I'm just responding to Moran uh, about oh, the redeems thanks. in chat. Yeah. Oh no, yeah, th this was, this is Arrow in the Dark, that's yours. The cast shadow was redeemed a while back. Yeah, got it, got it, cool. Yeah. That was when you did uh, Zona Cold, I think it was on top of that. Oh, cool, cool, cool. That's why gotcha. you got two echoes at that moment. Um, yeah, you see, it, it, it takes you by surprise, so you aren't, it, you just aren't able to um, low, uh, lock another arrow in, but you are able to get off a scorching ray if you wanted to, so if you want to roll that. Uh, yep, so do I just press on that spell, mm -hmm. or? Yep. Okay. That hits. Let's see. So yeah, like, how, how would you describe your scorching ray, and if you want to roll damage for that as well for me? It's in three different pieces if you want it to be, but you can have it all in like one on one target. How do I roll the damage for this? Oh, I see it. Yeah. Okay. Do I do that three times? Um... Or just the once? Yeah, you do three Basic times. Basic uh, yeah, you make you make one for each attack, yeah. Basically the spell kinda lights up the room, uh, although it, oh, like there are oh, no, some emergency work. power. Yeah, you didn't, you didn't roll damage. Oh. The damage is the, um, oh. if you go to chat and you click on the red text. The right. first one Sorry. hits, and, no, it's okay. The first and third one hit. The second one get, like, just swatted away by Sanyu. But as, um, um but yeah. The as, bolts kind of, like, light up the room, um, as they're, sh they're shooting forward and, uh, try to strike at the same time. Yeah. One of them does, like, as it, it tries going toward, uh, as they all go to a Sanyu, one of them gets consumed by one of the other ones and as soon as they both hit amongst all like the flare and the fire that like smashes off and like starts like um just consuming a bit of uh, like sani's um front you feel you see a wave of like force pushing back from uh, the blast and you kind of like just buckles um buckles a bit more and like you're down on both knees now and it is under full cover because of that but if i want to find the turn order because i keep closing it I think it's me. Anything else? Uh, no, I think I'm good. No worries. Kena, what would you have to Alright, since he's in full cover, I'm going to uh, like sprint up here. Your arm searing. I'm going to just ignore that. Mm -hmm. I'm going to sprint up and I'm going to like around the corner just punch him uh, with both attacks. Uh, my main attack and the bonus action. Go ahead. 
Uh, let me quickly do that. Bam. Bam. And then extra attack as well. Oh. The only, only one hits. Ah, dang it. But he does a lot. As like, even on his knees, like he's like blocking two of your attacks. Like you feel like you're hitting into the same material as your golden fists. As the um, the, as the one hits though, you just cave in a piece of his face, and you can just see um, on the one side, like the skin that's like being torn away. You can see inside the just golden machinery. As as I hit him, just uh, like a little smirk, and I just look back. Everyone on the elevator now. And then that's the end of my turn. Do you think this punishment is a joke? He asks you, uh, Kana, as like you're punching, like, and there's no wavering in his voice after you hit him. It is now. Rocky, your turn. Crap. Um. So, Kano's getting beat up by this dude. Um. He is also turning on the elevator, right? I'm going to be turning on the elevator after this. Gotcha. Um, he is currently being covered by this uh, and also this. I can't. What is this thing over here? That is just a piece of machinery on a pallet. Oh, this thing here? That's like a... That is just like a conveyor belt that go down into like a, um, a shredder. Same with this one right here. Oh no, th th that's a crane. These things, like these big ones, are like cranes. Okay. Um, I'm trying to get a, a feeling. Of what is yeah, this that, big that's thing just, in the elevator? Th like those, like machine things. Those, like, just plates uh, of okay. metal on top okay. of like crates. Um, okay. That like are just like uh, the shelling of a giant robot. Plates on crates. Plates on crates. Um. I'm gonna go. Does there seem to be any way? Uh, and is this also a crane? Yeah, but like you can go underneath it. Like that crane's oh. on a raised platform. Okay, and is it like leaning towards this dude at all? No, it's like it's above. Everything. It's above him. Yeah. Does it seem like there's any way that I could somehow make it fall? Roll until I get it. Alright. Something I'm really good at. <laughs> uh, that's save. Uh, I Big brain. It. <laughs> it's okay. You. I think it's still the same for you. Yeah. Yeah, it's the same. You can see, like, there's a few weak points on the crane that, like, you could. If you somehow were able to destroy like the structural integrity of the metal you'd be able to like it either like collapse and uh crush him or like it would uh just like fall apart right something i probably won't be able to do at the moment um so that that my intelligence check was that that was my yeah i wouldn't say that, like that was that was too um as a free action reaction mm -hmm. reaction Okay, then I'm just gonna, I'm gonna just Hail Mary. I don't really have a lot of ideas of what I can do at the moment. I'm a weakling. I'm gonna just shoot my longbow and any type of weak point on this thing. Go ahead. Uh, shoot an arrow on it. Uh, 20 oh. to hit. You Beauty. As you are doing this, um, you see, as like as you, as you get your, your arrow ready, you see Hanako. Um, watch over Moran and then like like looking at table like in the corner of their eye they they do they glance at you, and they you feel their hand hold yours for a second as you are pulling back the bowstring, giving you a bit of extra strength. Okay. And as you pull back and let go together, you see the arrow just pierce through the um this very thin point of metal on the crane that like it doesn't look like any like it's much is happening at the moment but you can just see very like subtle little cracks and like 
just tears in the metal from the point you shot, and like you can just see, like almost like ready to like, like it's at some moment it will collapse. Okay. Um. Uh, I'm gonna go ahead and do my action surge and do that one more time. Go ahead. Same area to try to break it. My goal is to create some type of distraction or some type of thing that causes what's his face to be like um well you're very distracting so it's helpful <laughs> yeah yeah <laughs> um uh so i'm gonna just go ahead and do my action search and one more longbow hit go ahead go get him uh, is this to distract him to on you or? well this is this is to hit the same weak point that oh, i yeah. hit already yeah to no, try yeah. to speed up the point my this... goal is this will fall to distract uh, yeah. uh him this does a lot better and like as Kano and Kano roll me a, a deck save. <laughs> so sorry. <laughs> as it's on both knees, he will get disadvantage on his deck save. Kano. Sorry. And roll me a deck save, please. Oh shit. I was wallowing. It's okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, okay. you. Okay, you know, able to just like just sidestep as you see this giant crane come falling out of the ceiling. That like uh, Rocky has just uh, um, broken a few points to let uh, to cause it to collapse in on you and Sanyi. And as it's falling, you kind of like are able to just push Sanyi further in, and you just see like collapse in on his neck. And like amongst the uh, the smashed crate that's landed on top of, you can just see Sunny like kind of just like drop under the weight of everything. I would say that's about three D ten. Oh, I'll add a bit more on top of that because it's still it's a lot. It's pretty heavy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, it just crashes in on him, and you just see Sunny just collapse, and you can hear the machinery within like whirring, and just like a. Oh, I didn't mean to do that. You can hear the machine whirring from within. And then you just hear this noise coming from... Kenny, you can hear this noise coming from Sanyu. And you... You recognize this noise as the same noise that you heard when... When you had your arms turned to gold. But it... Uh. Just before any impact is made, it, just, it stops. It is there. <laughs> Randall. Anything else you want to do with Rocky? Uh, no. Nah, there's nothing else I can do. Uh, is there anything in this box that I jumped in? <laughs> roll, 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 investigation. Put your dice gently on the table. That's a 19. You find a <laughs> thousands upon thousands of pieces of electronics and metal platings for Warforged and even like the some chases of Warforged uh, some uh, you see like the shell of one adaptive combat unit from within is there perhaps like a like a chained axe that could be launched alas there's not oh sorry Sam is there anything that even like like that slightly looks good to throw the, <laughs> the ACU's uh, Naginata is with the, the chassis you could yo I will throw that. Okay, I have since I, I've been in this box, I haven't really been paying attention to the overall combat, so I don't really know the situation. So I just pop out of the box with this fucking sword and yeet it in the general direction that I knew he was in. Mm -hmm. yeah, you see, Randall's and pop and just like, launch like a like a chaplain. Roll me a dexterity uh, check for me, and it would have advantage, not advantage, sorry, proficiency. But um, I say with like the, all the like. You wouldn't be in cover anymore because of the fact that like, he's been fucking crushed by the big ass crane and the cover was oh, shattered as well. So you, you I'd say you I also would, have oh, so. you, you, you'd have you advantage he'd be his, his prone. Oh fucking Christ, that really nice. Alright, so just say a uh, dexterity with a uh with my proficiency bonus on top. Mm -hmm. Well that sucks. Yeah, you can roll, roll yeah, advantage. Oh no. <laughs> hey oh. what? You just see Six him just like nine. Rocky just jump out. I mean, not Rocky, sorry, Randall jump out. And then just, eh. 
And just the nugget is like just clatter against the like ground just in front of Sanya. Also nice with six nine. Yeah, nice. Just in front nice. of the uh, yeah. what Snickers. I was aiming for. Just in front. Anything else? Uh, with that, I'm like, I look to Moran and I'm like, Moran, try that, but a little bit better. Okay. And that that is my uh, my help bonus action uh, going towards that for for advantage on your next attack. You All right. Is Let me get rid of that. And you hear the sound of metal crumpling when I find it. You hear the sound of metal crumpling as the crane that like that has smashed into Sanyi turns into just a, a tiny cube of gold. And he just lifts himself up out of the dirt and just shakes all the debris off of him and then goes to slash at, um, Kano with his dagger. I don't know why he rolled damage just then. Luckily, Did he have advantage? Kano, no, he didn't have advantage. So you... Okay. He, he rolls on that one, so yeah, he like completely whiffs and he just slashes at the wall. <laughs> Yes, I think it's a joke. Like he just like worse, I'm not saying like he fury is just burning through his golden eyes. And as he like pulls himself up <laughs> He turns towards the group on um on the um over here and you see him just like reach out as like as he's got like as he slashes at you, he reaches out towards um uh, Taya and um Rocky and Hanako and he just pulls in on the air and you hear the um the what's it called? You 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 see the metal turn into a gold like the plate um piece of plate turn into a golden hand and go to grasp at Taya. Romeo's trying to save please. I roll a strength set? Yes, strength set. Uh, this? You fail. Ooh. As you feel this giant golden hand uh, grasp onto you. Uh, that, like, this, what was creating cover for you guys is now a giant golden hand that, like, Sonny told you with. And yeah, you're grappled. Uh, you'll need to, um, to escape, you'll have to roll a strength save uh, using your action. Okay. And then. He just he just looks up at you, uh, looks down at you, Kane, as he gets as he pulls himself back up, and he's gonna end his turn there. As you can, you guys can hear outside of the door, Oni and ACU just fighting, and various other yokai just like attacking, and you can hear the shrieking of guards trying to like fight off uh, all these yokai that are like that you guys can see outside the hallway. It is Moran, your turn. Okay. So you said that this area, Earth and Grasp, was used over here? Yes. But, uh, is Hanako still positioned on, like, high ground? Does she still have line of sight on Sanyi? Yeah, she she would have, um... It's just the place. There is some crates underneath that she would be able to be still on top of. Like, she just okay. sidesteps onto them. Cool. That, that bit of plate is able to... Just goes, uh, turns to gold. Got it. Was... Uh, before you, was I supposed to take damage for being yes, grasped? You Thank you for reminding me. You took earth and grasped damage, yeah. Or for the golden grasp, if anything. Should I should have changed all these spell names? But yeah. Anything else? Oh, sorry, yeah, Moran, it's your turn. Yeah. Um. No, Hanako, whose face you can almost see as clearly as if she were alive, just a. Uh, a Shean elf woman um, who was glaring across the room at Sanyi. My longbow attack is going to originate from her space. 29? Yeah. She, as she sidesteps onto the crate, Araki, you see her pull an, uh, a longbow out of the air, uh, or out of her smoke. Um, although still being a lot more... You can, you can see their actual figure now. They're still s smoking and wisping, and out of that they are able to pull out a long one and launching it towards Sanyi 
there's an arrow that just goes straight through his neck. And you can hear him begin to like wheeze and whir as he turns to Hanukkah. I'm going to use my extra attack. That was for Hanako. And I imagine a third one does not hit. <laughs> get advantage on, on, on one of these two, so... Yeah, so oh! I'll take advantage, advantage on the second one, then. Go ahead. If that's allowed. Oh, yeah, so you, uh, That hits. 18? Um, okay. Mm -hmm. Roll me... Sunny will, as a reaction, when... When Hanako like fires the, the arrow through his neck, he raises up the hand that like turned into an earthen grasp onto um, onto Taya, and it drops. From, as it, he then fires a blast of gold out of his palm towards Taya and Rocky. Actually, not towards Taya and Rocky. Sorry, towards Hanako. Right. And that nine did hit as well. Give me a second. And, uh, uh, you know, when the second longbow arrow shoots, she goes, That was for Kano! Speaking of which, move! Well, I don't know why I made an attack, I should have made oh, an attack. What the fuck? <laughs> it wasn't meant and to be an attack. And it's seven damage. <laughs> it's meant to be a dex save. Hanako, please roll a dex save. Uh, no prob. Why did I roll so much dice but I only rolled that. 7 damage? That was the damage, it was 40-10. 1 plus 1 like, plus 1 plus 4. I know, I don't know why I rolled a bunch of other dice, ignore it. Oh, I see now. <laughs> oh, we got really lucky 22? with that, I think. <laughs> oh my god. Give me a One Mississippi. Two Two Mississippi. Nice. Good joke, man. You guys remember that kid in every third grade class? Yep. <laughs> yeah, Hanukkah. Look at us. He's in our D and D campaign now. <laughs> <Hanukkah> <laughs> able to sidestep uh, this golden bean. Um, Taya, when you see her do this, you you get a flash of memory for a moment, as this is almost identical to when Hanukkah and you were fighting Sanyi, and you see. In, you see a lapse of memory for a moment where her sleeve gets caught by the beam, and also a lapse of memory that way it doesn't. And she sidesteps. And Randall and Rocky, as like this beam just flies past you, you can see everything in its trail has turned to gold. So like, if I if I did a line, that's a dangerous ability. This is a beam of a gold that just has like just trailed and turned everything that was in in its uh, in its range. And like you. You could feel the heat coming off of it, and Kano, you, you, uh, you know this was what was done to you, just to a lesser extent. Taya, it is your turn. Being very happy that that didn't hit me, um, I'm going to try and get out of the restraints that I'm in by rolling a what strength save. Yeah. Oh, didn't you don't it need to drop? It dropped, you cast yeah. It dropped, yeah. yeah. Oh, okay. Um, so then, if that's the case, I would like to do a sneak attack. I think I am eligible for that. I went through the, the flow chart. You are. Yes, you are. Kano is um, within range. I'll see if I can't hit with the long bow. I gotta get myself a bow. Hmm. I hit some. Oh, nice. Okay, so I, I roll... Mm -hmm. this and i don't yes. know what the sneak attack applies uh you would click it when you did your roll like you you check oh, it sure. when you do your roll so if you want to roll uh click, check it again and roll damage again but we'll pick seven plus the sneak attack where do i check it in your sheet it should say in your attack section i find your sheet. yeah it's like right it's right below where you do your attacks and stuff i think yeah oh like i see it okay point. sorry no it's, yeah, it's okay uh and uh long bow don't worry about it. Just roll, uh, roll damage for me on that one. Oh, oops. <laughs> no, that's okay, that's okay. 10. 17 damage. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It is now. Anything else, sorry? No, I'm good. It is. Okay, no, your turn. 
All right, I'm going to uh, start attacking this guy with all my attacks. I'm going to use a key point to uh, bonus attack uh, flurry ahead. of blows. One, two, three, four. All right, damn, dude. The last three hit, the first one does the... Mm -hmm. uh, and then uh, I'm going to back away and go to the console. As you go to step away, he pulled out his whip. I keep clicking. It, it, it keeps giving me advantage. Does 16 hit? Uh, 16. It hits, yeah. yeah. You just feel the whip lash around your, uh, your leg. And he just pulls you down. Uh, to the ground. As you're able to make your way just about there. And you okay. take two damage. As you just like see, you, you guys just see Kano crash to the ground and create a very heavy dent in the uh, the grating on the floor. You think you can exact this, this strange, strange form of vengeance and then think you can just run away? You just hear his voice echo throughout the throughout the room. Okay. So I, I don't get the escape uh, the escape DC yet. Pardon, sorry? Uh, the escape DC fourteen. I don't get that until my turn next turn. Yes. All right. Then that's the end of my turn. It is. Rocky, your turn. Oh, good lord. Um, So is he... I don't know what to do, guys. Yeah, he's standing up there amongst all the rubble that you've like crashed onto him. Alright. I'm gonna run... around to here-ish, I think. That's 15 and 10. Um, maybe right... I'm going to run to right. One, two, three, four. Yeah, is he is he being partially covered from this, where I'm at right now, or is he fully covered? He's not covered anymore. Uh, That's right like here. debris. Okay. Okay. Cool, cool, cool. Then I'll do this. I'll do another longbow <clears throat> attack. Eighteen that hit. hits. Ten piercing damage. Ten piercing damage that hits. Anything else? Uh, no, nothing else I can do. It is now Randall, your turn. Uh, I'm gonna run up past Taya. Five, oh. Five, ten, fifteen, twenty, and yeah. So like, this is just debris now, right? Like, I can see him. Yeah. That's what that's what you're saying. Uh, I will. <laughs> very lightly be like stop messing with me crew and then shoot out my breath weapon oh, he's done it <laughs> yeah finally Ooh. he's been, he's been not brushing his teeth just for this moment <laughs> <laughs> he just vomits all over him just oh oh it's disgusting <laughs> yeah just shooting out just black like ichor pretty much in his direction as it begins to just like pour over him and consume you see it turn into gold as it starts leaving off of him he is you see him kind of like bu like not buckling but like he's like bracing himself from it and like um but he just looks at you no and how dare you no, no, no. this putrid mess <laughs> okay with that then i back up <laughs> and he's like you seem to try to like try wipe off um like shake off uh, the necrotic damage that you just poured all over him. I, I turn to Moran again. I'm pretty much keep laying down suppressive fire, trying to help out Kano. You just seem like I'll do my best. Taking a graph, and you hear him wheeze as he does this, as like all the machinery in him is whirring, and you seem like kind of like got a grasp by his neck where the arrow is. And you just see, like, just transform into gold and, like, form plating over his uh, armor or over his skin and, like, his um, his clothing. 
a way you guys have like a torn at the fabric and the metal and now he's just the one half of his face is just covered in gold and he looks at you all for a moment and looks down at Kano uh, with his whip lashed around him you just see like you can see even like the the wheels turning in his head like physically through his skin as he's just like he doesn't know what he wants like who he wants to punish first get me all this 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 whip i have a plan did you say that or you like asking I'm asking everyone else. You got it. Oh, I don't horror. think I will let them. Mm -mm. I won't let you not let them. <laughs> As, he, <laughs> As he turns them, he create. You see the metal bending, um, in front of you, Moran. As he creates, he, he twists the metal grating into a golden wall that blocks you guys from Kena for a moment and you just feel it push you back onto the ground uh, could Whoa, you me a like dexter? prone yeah he tries pushing you into rocky okay could you roll me a dexter? you're able to kind of just like brace yourself from it and just pull yourself back as like you feel it kind of like just like push in and you just kind of you're able to just like get out of range before it is like any anything buckled into you and he can't see you from here, so and, and you guys can just hear him. You guys can see him just like step over to um, to Kane. And just looking Lots down, steps. looking down at you, you see all the metal and machinery in his body kind of contort and twist and like sh fold in on itself as the fabric also kind of like. Uh, pulls in on itself and goes in towards his shoulder, uh, shoulders and you just see like his the humanoid form transform as if like he was a werewolf and become more bestial as the the humanoid uh, son um, transforms into a uh, a Whoa! mechanical There's lion. two of them. Oh, okay. Oh, Jesus. Hovers over Kano. Is the whip gone? Yeah, you, you, the tail whip that's slashing at you, let's go. And he just goes to, like, slash at you with his claws. Uh, hits. These are all two or one? They both do. They, they both do. You take six piercing damage. It is now. Where am I looking on my thing? It is now Taya, your turn. Okay. I am going to see if I can't get a Wait, it's Moran's short... turn, isn't it? Sorry. That's fine. It is. is it Moran's turn or is it Taya, sorry? Yeah, it's uh, Moran's turn. Sorry, Moran, Moran, Moran takes Moran a turn before me. Yeah. And Canon, you ah. uh Georgia, could you roll me a D ten please? Oh uh, but yeah. Uh, Moran, what are you going to do, sir? Kano, what's the plan? Well, I mean, I was going to do something with a whip, but it's gone now. So it's, it, I just, we're Gucci now. Its whip is now its tail, by the way. As you get seven hit points, um, you feel that lime spirit that was uh, s circling Moran make its way towards uh, you, Kano, and circle around you. I sidestep the wall, throwing my bow down onto the elevator, and I draw my sword. Mm -hmm. I said, stay on the elevator. Well, somebody has to cover you. As you say that, you feel Hanako's gaze on you. And as you Took go to shot, smash, and I missed. You did. You feel your body get pulled back. And you get a sense of whiplash as you are now staring at Hanako. <laughs> as she's pulled you away. No! 
gone towards Sanyu. Well, she just turns to you. I've, I've got whiplash. <laughs> <laughs> My neck. Anything else, like, <laughs> anything else you'd like to do? Um, I assume prone on top of these crates. Oh no, no, you're like you're like you can't like just like like as you like get pulled back, you're like just like you just like slash at the end and kind of like wobble as you panic, like as you've been just you feel your body just get pulled. Um, right. But you're still. Up well, there. then I'll I'll take a slash and originate it from uh, Hanako's face. Does a twenty three hit? The twenty three does hit, and you see her blade just cut and just cleave into the and. Uh, you can see, Kano, that like it's just opening up some of the plating. And you just see Sanyu just roar in Hanako's face. And you can see this beam of... Uh, this ball of energy falling, forming in in, in, uh, in its mouth. Anything else? That's my turn. I have a question about the earlier arrows in the dark. I did see that uh, Sam ended up rolling. Yeah, I did. Um, I did do it. It was uh, it was that one bow that attack you rolled and that one. Okay, cool. I was just making sure. Um, if that's the case, I would like to throw. I have still the the half. I don't know what this is. N Naginata. 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 I'm gonna throw that at him. Go ahead. Uh, gonna. Chuck. That hits. I don't know. Me, I, I played some baseball back in the day. <laughs> you know how it is. <laughs> Pitching. You throw the Javelin. broken half of the yeah. um, the Naginata from the guard into Sanya. You just see it just like pierce into his side, and you see it clog up one of the vents and cause it like cave in. And he just growls and snarls when he turns towards you, and you just hear him his mechanized whirring again. All right, cool. And then I'm just gonna end my turn. It is, I believe, it is Kano's turn. All right, can uh, you said he turned towards uh, Taya? Yeah. Can I grab his tail? You would have to go around him, but if you focus on him, you can. Or you can even crawl under him because he is huge in this lion form. All right, fuck it. What's this beside me? What is what? Sorry, this. This this thing. That is just a crate of um. Just parts. Or I'm gonna, I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna punch at him Go ahead. with my cannon attack. Go ahead. Let's just get that. I would say it's. What was the? Is it light, medium, heavy, or massive? I would say heavy. I was gonna say. All right. Uh, it needs to. He needs to. I need to roll a strength. Yeah, strength saving throw. Mm -hmm. And then what's he need to? Dexterity. Oh fuck yeah! Misses as like he, he just turns to Taya, um, Kano. You just pick up this crate as you are getting back up to the ground and launching in the air, and then just like just thrusting a fist into it. You all right? It takes half damage. It says. Does he want to take half damage? Half damage if it, if he succeeds. Okay. Okay. What's the, let's see the damage. All right, as when second. you do punch the crate, you crate you. You guys see a shockwave come off of it for a second. As um, it just like plum plunges, not plunges, sorry, plummets towards Sanyi. Uh, so that'll be 13 damage. And as he just in time turns towards it, he kind of like, you see these like, um, these like engines underneath him just whir and like just kind of like thrust him to the side. Just a game, just just almost out of range, and you see one half of his side is just completely um, gone. You have like just crumpled and torn into stones as the crate is now just like smashed into the wall over there, and like it, the what parts were in there have just exploded everywhere. All right, uh, I'm not gonna use my e extra attack yet. I'm gonna try moving over here. Mm -hmm. Does he do anything? What do you? Sorry. I move down to the computer. As you move, yeah, he, um, when he, you, as, like, you, as soon as you, like, force him to, like, kind of, like, change his trajectory, he, yeah, he tries to get one slash in on you with his claws. 
And although Hanako goes, does try to go and like parry you, she kind of just like uh, wavers for a moment as you feel these three uh, cl uh, uh, claws slash into you. Uh, would I be able to take pa patient defense as my extra, uh, extra attack or bonus action? Patient defense was that? Sorry. Patient defense with one key point. Mm -hmm. I take the dodge action. Uh, when a creature within five feet of you makes an attack at against turn with you. Is that patient defense, sorry? What was that? Oh no, Mirren, Mirren said that she could make an, uh, uh, an attack. Oh yeah, oh yeah, Sentinel. Sorry, I'll put... Yeah, no, yeah, yeah, Hanako can use Sentinel. I forget. And, sorry, uh, I, and I have patient defense. I use one key point to make dodge action as a bonus action. Mm -hmm. I haven't used my bonus action yet. No worries. Yep. Hanako is able to use Sentinel. Sentinel mixed with dodge. What does dodge do? I don't, I don't think I've ever dodged before. <laughs> I assume that you get advantage on like the, the attack check. So I'll have it uh, be. Yeah, 19 hits. Yeah. Hunter Hood like, is like when. When uh, when when uh, uh, Sanyi goes to slash at, um, uh, Kano. She, although it does nick at Kano just in the back, she is able to parry him uh, with a longsword and then just like throw his arm to the side and he just turns towards Hanako uh, so uh, with my dodge action any attacks against me have disadvantage Perfect. hey you got it first time <laughs> anything else uh, uh, I'm gonna try uh, do I see what button I need to press no yeah I'd like that you just like kind of just like try to try do something roll slight hand for me because like it is fairly fair enough. There is there is a lot of machine, a lot of buttons for a lot of machines. Ten. When I will have that go later. Remind me that like Hanako has a um, has another cast shadow. Ten. Yeah, you're trying to like you you start pressing out all the buttons, doing your best, and you can hear like some of the machines whirring around you. You can hear the shredder turn on for a second and start shredding some of the metal. And you can see just some of the cranes start moving and twisting. And the one that like is broken is just like whirring. And you can, but you don't hear the elevator whir as if it was turned on. Okay, That's, that'll be my turn then. No worries, it is Rocky, your turn. Thank you for taking cash out if I should do that in a second. Here, Rocky, what would you have to do? Um. Word up. So much happening. Um. If my arrow won't, like, the, 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 the shadow is on the ground. Like, my arrow is not going to hurt the shadow by any oh, means. Oh, no, the, right? shadow's, the shadow is now, like, like is, like, a actual person. Like, but you can see a physical person, like, smoking in the air. Okay. But, like, you can pass that. Yeah, it could pass through. Okay. You'd be allowed to. I guess I'm gonna just shoot in our air. I don't want to get all up and at it. I don't want to get all. I want to get close and personal because I can do more damage that way. But I also am a weak man. Oh. Uh... What is this again? Sorry. Give me one second. Um. You need to make. Oh uh, wait. Yeah, roll into wait, wait, wait. Okay. Bonus extra turn. Um. Okay, so I have fighting spirit. Um, mm -hmm. I can use it three times. It's so it, it gives me a bonus action action to get advantage. Do I use that? Do I have to say that I'm going to use that bonus action before, like rolling? and then only can get advantage if I miss kind of thing? Or is it like, I miss, and then I can go ahead and do my advantage on this fighting spirit? Thanks for it. Yeah. Yeah, it's on a, a bonus. So you can choose when you do, but like you, if you say you want to use it, you use it one of your 
uh, flying spur points. Okay, but say like I so I I say I I try to hit, I miss. Yeah, you can. You and can then I can be like, okay. yeah, yeah. Okay, cool, cool. That's all I need to know. I'm gonna go ahead and just. <laughs> I don't know, man. I'm feeling a little funky. Um, I guess I'll just shoot another arrow. This person's made out of metal or something. That that's gonna be some type of uh. Guys, should I run into the, the attack it? <laughs> should no. I leave it? <laughs> no, stay on the elevator. <laughs> That's right. Uh, I'm going to go ahead and just shoot the bow. I was just joking around, guys. I would never <laughs> do that. <laughs> Long bow. Just There's a giant dragon armor. I don't think you want to leave the elevator. 18 to hit. That hits. All right. Uh, uh, that is going to be six damage. <laughs> Slow and steady wins the race, boys. Uh, I don't think there's anything else I can do. So, no I'll... Yeah. Randall, it is your turn. And, okay, clarification also for me a little bit. Do I have... I don't really know who Sun Yi is, really, right? Yeah, you have no clue. I am going to try to, like, telepathically do... I'm doing my, like, psychic uh, gem dragonborn thing as well as my mimicry ability, because I believe I have been in contact with, uh, I can't remember her name right now, but the uh, Ikana? warden of, uh, yeah, the, the warden of the prison. I probably have the unerringly mimic thing. So I'm going to telepathically put in his head, like uh, in, in her voice, uh, we need you out in the hallway, uh, Sanyi. There's too many yokai. We need you out here. And see if that does anything. I don't know if they have a relationship or anything. <laughs> mm, you hear him growl. I will see to it after this. Damn it! Anything else? And then I, I, I turn, I turn to Taya. I'm like, keep firing. Taya has, uh, she will have advantage on that. Sunny now yep. is going to. Uh, Hanako will be able to um, do. Uh, type of opportunity because Sonny is going to pounce on Kano. And what I'm going to say is, um, with with the way um, that hits, with the way um, you, as Hanako, you guys just see Hanako just like, actually, no, roll again, roll another attack as well, Sonny, for a second. Because you now see in this moment, like Hanako isn't just, just that there is essentially another echo for a moment of her, as if like there's two different um, shades of Hanako just slashing in on Sanyi in this one moment. And as he's about to prepare for his pants, he's trying to just swat away this echo of uh, Hanako and he's able to get one out of the way, but the second creates a very heavy gash on his left side. And you can see some of his hair gets cut and when his hair hits the ground, you just, he just lets out this tremendous roar that causes all the machinery in the room to like kind of like like a lot of the glass to just shatter, uh, the screens in the room to shatter in front, and a cane of the glass in your uh, face shatters and almost like explodes into you. Um, but you also hear some of like the machinery like kind of like just like burst from the pressure, and he just pounces on Kano. So I'm gonna give him advantage on this attack when he just launches himself onto you. Oh my fuck! Uh, one of those hits. One of those does hit. Yeah, and you just you just see this giant hunk of machinery just throw itself at Kano, causing all the screens that it just uh, passes through just to explode from just the force of uh, Sanyi uh, just launching out. You can see the wall being scratched up by the uh, the side of his uh, his armory and metal. I'm going to start the music again. As um as when he just gets on top of Kano, you just see that golden beam that he had in his mouth. As he's around top of you, uh, Kano, before you have Sonny uh, Pat and you are able to just like as you like you're, you're still trying to press the buttons you're still, you, you're still able to have time to press the buttons you just you press the right button in that moment to cause a 
a whirring uh, that causes the elevator to begin to vibrate for a second. As in that moment, you just feel Sonny's entire body crash into you. And as he's standing on top of you, you just see this giant golden beam. And um, because of him being right on top of you, I'm not gonna, I'm, I'm not gonna roll because he's point blank range. You just see him just blast this giant wave of gold fire into your face or on, onto your body. As he is right on top of you, I'm gonna roll damage for that. You take 12. As you guys see, in this slight moment, you can just see um, Kano's arms uh, going up, crawling up his arms. You see the fire forming or circling around him. And like he isn't burnt when this fire consumes him, but you can see his arms as he's like trying like, what is Kano doing in this moment? In um, Trying to block his face. Yeah, as, you, as you're trying to block your face, you can see like all around Kano's, um, the part that isn't like, uh, that is being blocked by Kano isn't being consumed by this fire, but that is, is like having this like golden fire meld onto him and circle around him and just build, like crawl up his body. And as that happens, you feel the flooring underneath the elevator just give. And you guys feel your bodies plummet down with the elevator as it is crashing, hurtling downwards down a shaft. As you see in that last moment, uh, Kano and um, uh, Kano just on the floor as Sunny just is um, hunkered on top of him. And yeah, and um, we're gonna. In the in this in this elevator shaft, you just for a moment you hear the sound of Sonny's roar, and then the sound of machinery changing once more. As you hear, and then you hear echoing down this long chamber. We just give you a second. I'm gonna change the playlist. You hear the heels of Sanyi echoing away as they move out of the uh, out of the factory. And uh, we're gonna sure Kato will jump down any second now. Oh. <laughs> you feel like this there has been a lot of distance has passed as like the, you, you you still are going down the other shaft it hasn't stopped you're just like covered in darkness as you still feel your body's plumbing downwards Kano jump Kano we'll catch you buddy and as you feel your body's hit the ground uh, you can you you're in a room similar to the ones above, um, but there's, you're in like a, a chamber and you can just see a few screens above you in this, uh, like, uh, like railings that are holding up the elevator. And you can just see um, these screens um, around on the, on, the, on the elevator and you can just see the footage of, uh, of that factory room. And you can see just, Collapsed onto, um, well, not collapsed onto the ground, but like on on the ground in a crater of like metal grates. You can see Kano looking as if like he was in a guarding position on the floor uh, moments before Sanyi had turned into solid gold. And no Sanyi. Uh. 
Randall just like falls to his knees and and pretty much cries out like I I can't lose another crew. Oh. Ah. I just I I just It wasn't supposed to happen that way. It wasn't the plan. I was waiting in the It wasn't the plan. Arcano. A little angry. There has to there has to be a way. There has to be something we can do. There's there's this isn't no. All right. There's there's something, right? There's something, some type of spell, some type of of of, of antidote. I don't know. There, there there is there is something. Rocky's like furiously pacing back and forth. Like there there. is gonna try to stop Rocky and be like, you know, we can't go back, and he wouldn't want us to go back. We have to focus on getting out of here, or else we might all be gold. <laughs> Fine. Kano. I. But, but there is. There. There has to be. If not now, there has to be a way to save him. I just. I can't. There's nothing, Rocky. There's nothing. You think I have tried everything? And I and she she points to the now smoky again visage of of Hanako. You think I didn't try everything for her when this happened? I did everything I could, and I would do everything I could for Kano too. But he's gone. Rocky just kind of turns his back towards uh, uh, um. With Moran, just like on, he's like wiping some tears off his face. He's just come on. I just come on. We have to go. Just give me a second, please. Randall is still just on his knees, like silent, like not even reacting to anything. Moran picks up her bow. He turns back to Moran. Okay. Hey, you know, you know, I mean, he's got a, uh, he's a, uh, yeah, he'd want this. He want us to leave. He wants to escape. He'd want us. Yeah, you're right. Just... <laughs> you know, it's a, uh, I think it's a, it's a good, it's a good, a good irony that he, uh, he turned to gold because he's, he's always been a winner, you know? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. Come on, Rocky. We're going to get out of here and we're going to see that this, we're going to bring an end to this. All right. All right. Because somebody has to bring an end to this. Uh, Rocky kind of t turns back. We'll bring an end to it. And this isn't... We'll bring an end to that man that... I've never... I've never said this to y'all before. Uh, I mean, now we've gone through what we can or what we have. It, it feels stupid. I just kind of keep it to myself. Uh, on my journey, uh, I, I came across a town of uh, people made our gold. I, I I honestly just didn't know what to to think of it until this moment. But I, I there there's gonna be a solution, even if even if. It doesn't mean bringing those people back. There's still a solution to prevent any more from happening. And I'm gonna, I'm gonna spend my dying breath finding that solution. Let's get out of here. Yeah, offers a silent hand. 
to R- Randall. Sorry. <laughs> no, you're good. I look over to Randall and Taya. And when we get out of here, let's tell everyone what they're doing in here. Rand- Randall looks uh, looks at Taya's uh, extended hand and, and it, it, it's it's all my fault. If, if I hadn't asked him to join us on our escape mission, he would still be alive. He'd still be fine. Randall, that's a reductive way to think. All right? We all knew we were getting into. He, he knew what he was getting into. He wanted to leave just as much as any of us. It isn't you that that put some spell on him to convince him to do this, put himself in harm's way. All right? All right, and and then he takes Taya's hand and, and says, "But but no more, I can't take it." All right, no more. No more. Aye aye, captains. Please don't be called. <laughs> I said captains plural. <laughs> I was referring to all of you as captain. <laughs> <laughs> all right, let's get out of here. Let's get out of here. <laughs> Randall, like, he, he, he put, puts his hat, like, more down so you can't even see his eyes and stuff, just to, like, hide the fact that his eyes are, like, redder than hell. And we'll finish this session there. All right. Thank you, everyone, okay. for joining us. <laughs> Thank you. We're gonna... I feel, I feel this weird going over the, um... Talking about, uh, well, 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 um, I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna, I'm gonna give you guys a space to, uh, to shout yourselves out, uh, before we finish. And then I'm gonna, I'm gonna have a chat again with, with the group and then I'm gonna come back with the uh, goodbye, good, the goodbyes and, uh, the next session and also, um, the thank yous. So, uh, what I'll do is I'll, yeah, let's, let's do that. So uh, to those that have been lurking or watching the pod or hanging out in chat, thank you so much. Uh, those chat inspirations that have come through and uh, the redemptions, I'll re- uh, refund the layer action, but the chat redemptions, I'll... Those will carry over to next session. Um, yeah, thank you guys for being here. Um, Jacob, you want to tell us a bit about yourself? Uh, hey, I'm Jacob. Um, I am a one of the co-hosts uh, and creator of Podcast Just Very Mundane. Uh, where we talk about random mundane things uh kind of that everybody goes through day to day give kind of advice and also make jokes uh which is typical for me um i'm really trying to be like peppy towards like giving this like <laughs> our, yeah and then uh randall just disappeared on the little chat thing in a in a in a in our in our roll 20 thing like you know it kind of gets me in my feels but uh nah but yeah check out the podcast uh i also have a uh everything else uh, i have a youtube as well it's all on the the link tree as well so that podcast um yeah just give me a second <laughs> aj's left it, 20 so like that like gets called like moran to like not be in the right place i was oh. wondering what that was i'll fix that um hey guys are back what, what happened <laughs> i'm gonna put you back on screen for a second if you want to uh, i'm just gonna tr- move move some things over uh, you want to tell me about McClunky, AJ, and Sam? McClunky. Yeah, I mean, over over on McClunky, we do D&D stuff like this. We do our Terrifying Territories of Roro campaign on Fridays. That'll be coming... Actually, wait. That, I don't know. Like That'll be on hiatus for a little bit, because considering Kaz is going to be coming to Canada in the next few weeks, mm-hmm. like I don't know how that's going to be going. Yeah, so well, that might good. be fun for a bit. Yeah. yeah, maybe we'll do like an in-person stream or something like that yeah. during that. It's but, it's well we'll replace Terrifying Territory Roro with the Pardon uh, campaign for the interim. Mm. I'm just kidding. Um, you guys can watch me Twiz, who's a hilarious little goblin in that campaign. I wish. <laughs> uh, but yeah, um, we also talk about like Marvel shows and Star Wars shows, stuff like that, and we do gaming content over there. So check us out. We just hit a hundred. We did. Thank hell you. Yeah. Oh uh, yeah, thanks to Demi for the hundred. Yeah, hell yeah. We'll be, we're gonna be doing like a twelve-hour stream or something like that soon. Well, also, yeah, we're gonna do something to support our one hundred followers now. Um, next thing is, uh, Sammy, tell us about your stuff. 
Hello, I am Sammy. I stream sometimes uh, over on my Twitch channel, Remove Sam, as well as I am a pot. Uh, I am a host? Question uh, mark at the podcast. <laughs> We're so fucking sorry. It's basically a conversational podcast that I do with my co-host Lucy, where we talk about everything, nothing, and well, wait, nothing ever. Wait, we we do a talk. I'm good at talking. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. So why why is your icon like a, a bunch uh, is a watermelon uh, um we were looking for a logo and we were on a website of like stock images and there was just a man holding a watermelon <laughs> and like Hell how yeah. could you not he's like uh, the, the picture is like he's in like some Pumping. sort of um i don't even know what you call it uh, but he's outdoors just like holding a watermelon <laughs> i was like that that represents us <laughs> There we go, watermelon. watermelon. Not not the guy, not the, not not being in like this 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 place. The watermelon. The watermelon. Mm. The guy, um, the watermelon being held lovingly. Mm -hmm. <laughs> because they create wonderful content like everyone else here. Um, they create their own wonderful watermelons. Mm -hmm. When and life gives you melons. Yeah, make a podcast. Make a podcast. <laughs> and Epi. Um. Hi. Um. Y'all know me already. I do art. I cry over canon. Etc. Um, yeah. <laughs> <sighs> that was something. I can't believe it's death is canon now. Stop. Oh <laughs> my Shut god. Up. Shut up. I'm leaving. <laughs> Goodbye. Too soon? Too soon? I'm so sorry. Hey. Sorry. Too soon. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, uh, wow. so that's, <laughs> that's, that's that. You gotta break your knees. Um, join us next session. Uh, it will be on the 14th of Sunday, uh, of August, July. And that'll be, that'll actually be the last stream I, we, we do before I go on uh, a little holiday. Um, so, so join us, um, for the climactic end of Jailhouse Rocky. And join us, uh, next Sunday, uh, or the, the, the Sunday coming up, um, the 7th. Or is it the eighth? The eighth. Seventh. The eighth of August. Uh, oh, seven. Sorry, seventh of August. Um, for the next session of Thrones of Sands. Um, I'm gonna. Go, I'll just do more things now. If you've been, if you've enjoyed my art and you've enjoyed all the stuff, um, <coughs> thank you. I will. I will enjoy my my visit to Canada. I'll. Um, yeah. I'm a. Uh, I'm gonna chat with uh, the guys for a second, and I'll be right back. Um, see you guys in the hustle.
Hello, everyone. Yeah, no, I... It's... Have a... Yeah, little... Little, little black eyed cane. It's, it's, it's a sad one. Um... Yeah. Thank you guys for hanging out. It was, um... It was an absolute blast. I, I highly appreciate you guys giving us your time for this. This was... This has been so fun to look do. We've just gone past the halfway point for this. I am so excited for the final, uh... Final part. And I hope you guys are excited. Uh, if you haven't already seen part one, um, you can catch it in the playlist for Throne Top Sands, and you can catch the entire um, build up for the entire campaign, uh, this entire mini campaign through through the vods of that. If you want to, it's there. Um, if you've been lurking, watching vods, using the channel points, hanging out in chat, just just vibing, enjoying your time here, I I hella appreciate it. It's been an absolute blast. Um, You have no idea, Georgia. I, I I cannot explain. It's just there. There'll be there'll be some good. It'll, it'll be very exciting. Very, some very neat things um, coming up in the in the final in the climactic finale of Jailhouse Rocky. Um, yeah. Thank you for giving us your time. Uh, I'm gonna quickly just go over our sponsors. Um, there's Bard RPG. Uh, they do a, they create a um, creative, and I, I, I want to say in, in, in um, inventive and creative way to um, to create narrative flow through um, through world building, character, and storytelling. Uh, and it's a project I'm working on. And if you are, if that's something that sounds cool to you, go check out the Kickstarter. It's already uh, in production, but it'll be coming. Uh, it'll be releasing in. 2023 and you'll be seeing me work on some art for that and if that's something you want to to look into that's please do it's some really cool stuff there's some wonderful people working on that and i'm glad cody you you, you enjoyed it um the cast and I, yeah the cast have put so much effort into this they've given me so much of their time and energy to produce some of the some of some of the things that have like come up for this it's and yeah no this is this is this has been one of like my highlights as like like um as a streamer to like produce something to this level it's been so such a challenge but so fun to like do and like 
like not to under undermine the task because like, like that's something we put on weekly that's a lot more consistent we there's i i can't be as cinematic i guess you could say as i as i am with all produced because like the content is a lot more um random but like while 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 this had to be a bit more concise it's essentially a one shot put into three parts um and that's what i like that gave us like the, like we, we've been able to like do really cool stuff with it, like the vignette the intro video is something i want to do for for task that was that idea was initially for task at first anyway so yeah um and like yeah no there's i appreciate you guys you guys have been on, on along for this it's been so fun uh to do finally uh oh, not finally sorry uh Bard RPG, there's dice roll uk uh they are our, our um, main sponsor they produce a wonderful set of gemstone metal and resin dice and um cody uh cody dragons actually create some of the dice bags uh that they that are up on there i'm glad hi demita you you enjoyed it it was it was it's been an absolute pleasure to run and uh just see everyone's reaction to all this so i want to i want i want to hear you guys talk about it i i want to know what you guys think about all the things that have happened there's been so many cool things that have happened so much all at once you know like yeah like there's, there's been there's been a lot of things um but with that, there is, um, oh, what was I going to say? Um, Dice Roll UK, uh, if you use the link diceroll.uk slash casadm, you'll get, um, to support, like by purchasing through that link, you'll support the stream and it goes a long way. And I really appreciate it when, like, when, when, when when you guys do little things like that like it's it's not necessary but it's beyond appreciated when you do and even like like just giving me your time is enough but like when you like that like that extra step is heartwarming thank you so much for like if you if you do use that link to to, to, to buy some dice it's it's really appreciated um there is phoenix dice and they pro they also produce dice they produce um some really cool dice and accessories as well and if you use code task 2022 you'll get 20 percent off your purchase um there is what was the other one dice roll uh b b is a lot like the other ones uh but instead of just dice or just dice they don't do any dice but they do a bunch of really cool um uh accessories for ttrpg games like dice trace bags and pencil cases. but they also create these really cool lgbt uh, qia plus uh patches uh, that you can put on like your jackets and stuff and they're really cool and if you use the code task 2022 on your purchase at the end um you will get uh 10 percent off um, Dice Roll, Phoenix B, uh, Bardic, or Bar, uh, Bard RPG. There is also Just Very Mundane, uh, which is Jacob's podcast. Go check him out. Go, go support him. He is a wonderful person and a wonderful content creator. He puts so much effort into everything he does, and I, I, I think you should go support him because he deserves all the love. And it goes, it goes without saying for Sammy and George for the next two sponsors as well. Um, we're so fucking sorry is Sammy's podcast uh, where she works with where her and Lucy um, have just a really fun time and it's such a, such a fun watch um, and Georgia uh, GM AJ Georgia Mar Jewelry she creates some beautiful jewelry that you can grab on her Etsy store um, she's creating a D&D set right now which is uh, the Dungeon Master uh, uh, Fighter and Rogue uh, pendants but there's also her Warrior Poets series and they are gorgeous um, go go support all these people they do some wonderful stuff um and finally uh if you've enjoyed this and you want to take part in a lot of the community st community stuff we do uh chat chat with uh me and the cast chat with people that like hang out uh in vc all the time or join in on the various art contests art nights and the west marches game we run um over on the discord it's a wonderful space some of the coolest people i've ever met hang out there it's it's wild I don't know how they, how these cool people want to give me so, or why these people want to give me so much of their time and hang out with me, but they do, and it's beyond appreciated. Thank you. I'm glad I didn't enjoy the best matches. Um, finally, there is my art. If you enjoy my art, uh, most of the art on this stream has been mine, except for the map assets, which are two minute tabletop. Uh, but if you enjoy it and you want to see more of my stuff, uh, check out my Instagram and my Twitter. I post on my socials fairly regularly. You'll see the Sunny art going live tomorrow, I believe. Um, but yeah, that's everything. We're going to raid into um, 
Your Move Live, they are doing a made outfit stream because they have um, hit a milestone, I believe. And they they are, Dan, Dan's a wonderful person, they create some really cool stuff. And if you want to check them out, well, we're going to check them out now. Your Move Live. Uh, give, give, give them, give them, give them our support. That's his. If you, if you're subbed, uh, there's been a lot of subs today. Thank you so much for giving, giving, j j just giving to the stream. It's beyond appreciated. And I, like, it helps in a lot of ways to produce the content that I use in stream. Like, like the music, for example, like the license to get that, the time and energy, this helps support and fund my the energy that I put into all, all everything that goes into the stream and and yeah um, there's the subbed amount if you want to use that and if you aren't subbed you can use uh, use this but yeah thank you so much again for being here and if I don't catch you in the next stream which will be on Mon uh, Tuesday we'll be doing some art um, actually no I think we'll be yeah we'll be doing some art and playing Genshin Impact maybe we'll see what's up um, but if you enjoy that and want to see more, uh, check out my Instagram and Twitter. Uh, and, yeah, and join the Discord. But yeah, that's everything. But if I don't see you then, I hope you have a good morning, good afternoon, good evening.